गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स टेस्ट सबने दिया यहाँ जो इज देर एनी वन हु डिड नॉट गिव टेस्ट टूडे और यहाँ बैठा है क्यों अच्छा कोर्स एक दो दिन पहले ही ज्वाइन किया इतनी देर क्यों हो गई अच्छी बात है दूर आए दुरुस्त आए बस नहीं देर आए दुरुस्त आए <laughs> सारी हिंदी थोड़ी गड़बड़ है <laughs> कोई बात नहीं तो फिनिश economy as soon as possible and uh, please attempt the test okay we'll take more tests on economy in future but your next test would be of entire science and technology syllabus so next week hamara thursday friday saturday in teen din mein we will finish entire rtsq 500 questions of science and tech and then on sunday you'll have a full test on science and technology rtsq ke questions main khud bana raha hu बट आई डोंट मेक टेस्ट पेपर वाले क्वेश्चन बिकॉज थोड़ा सा इंडिपेंडेंस रहना चाहिए ना डिफरेंस रहना चाहिए तो आर टी एफ क्यू फाइव हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन वुड बी मेड बाई मी देन ऑन संडे यूल हैव अ फुल टेस्ट ऑफ एंटायर साइंस एंड टेक तो साइंस टेक में आपको क्या क्या पढ़ना है दी 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 एन सी आर टी क्लास नाइन टेन एन सी आर टी गो थ्रू इट वंस रीड वंस आई एनश्योर की देर आर टेन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम देयर एंड रिमेनिंग नाइन्टी क्वेश्चन और रिमेनिंग एवरीथिंग दैट वी हैव टॉट तो विल बी टेकिंग मोर क्लासेस नेक्स्ट वीक ऑन साइंस एंड टेक एवरीथिंग दैट वी हैव टॉट इसके बियॉन्ड कुछ नहीं पढ़ना है विल कीप अपडेटिंग यू विद साइंस एंड टेक विल कीप अपडेटिंग विद यू विद एनवायरमेंट सो इन दीज टू इन दीज टू सब्जेक्ट साइंस और एनवायरमेंट आपको जो हम सोर्स दे रहे हैं कंटेंट दे रहे हैं उसके बियॉन्ड कुछ भी नहीं पढ़ना पड़ेगा ओके सो नेक्स्ट वीक साइंस टेक साइंस टेक फुल टेस्ट सेम टाइम टू पी एम अ हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन वाला टेस्ट ओके सो आई नो जो प्री कम मेन्स प्रोग्राम का टेस्ट सीरीज का प्लान है उसमें कुछ चेंजेस हो रहे हैं इस वजह से अल मॉडिफाई दैट है ना आई सेंड यू एन अपडेट बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट यू पीपल टू बी यू पीपल टू बी अटेम्प्टिंग टेस्ट विच इज इन सिंक विथ वॉट वी आर डूइंग इन द क्लासेस इट विल कीप यू मोटिवेटेड अगर अभी इकॉनमी कुछ और टेस्ट चल रहा होता है यहाँ पे क्लास में इकॉनमी पढ़ रहे हैं तो यू मे नॉट हैव अटेम्प्टेड इट ओके है ना टेस्ट में किस किसको लगता है उसने सब अच्छा कर दिया लाइक एनी वन हु थिंक्स की वैसे वन फिफ्टी मार्क्स आ रहे होंगे आ तो रहे होंगे कुछ लोगों के तो आ रहे होंगे नहीं पेपर वॉज ईजी मैंने कल जब पेपर रिव्यू किया था मैंने बोला था अरे यार बहुत आसान पेपर बनाया है नहीं ऐसा नहीं था अच्छा किसने बहुत खराब किया पेपर अभी रिजल्ट तो आ जाएगा वैसे क्लास में हाँ पहले हाथ उठा दिया क्या नाम क्या है आपका अच्छा एकदम सबसे नीचे लिस्ट में आपका नाम होगा क्या स्टार्ट अभी किया अभी एक दो क्लासेस भी किया है तो वैसे भी क्लास से तो इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया से तो कितने क्वेश्चन थे दस पंद्रह क्वेश्चन थे पच्चीस क्वेश्चन नहीं थे यार अच्छा चलिए जो भी आप लोग जो जिन लोगों ने अभी प्लीज प्रायोरिटाइज योर इकोनॉमी प्रिपरेशन इकोनॉमी बेसिक्स अच्छे से खत्म करो ये अच्छे से खत्म करो ठीक है एंड एंड पी एम पी स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव टू क्लासेस पेंडिंग एक बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट वाला क्लास है एक बैंकिंग वाला क्लास है बेसिक्स जहाँ हम पढ़ा रहे हैं तो योर क्लास वुड बी हेल्प दिस वीक ट्यूजडे या वेंसडे को आई विल बी टेकिंग एक्स्ट्रा क्लास जहाँ पे योर पी एम पी वुड बी कम्प्लीटेड द टू क्लासेस विच आर पेंडिंग वुड बी डन ओके तो टुडे इन इकोनॉमिक अच्छा वी आर आज हम इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया कर रहे हैं हाँ इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया वी आर डीलिंग विथ एग्रीकल्चर एंड फूड मैनेजमेंट चैप्टर विच इज चैप्टर एट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया ओके नाउ एग्रीकल्चर और फूड मैनेजमेंट वाला चैप्टर ना आई पर्सनली डू इट इन वे मोर डिटेल अगर आप देखेंगे लास्ट ईयर आई हैड अपलोडेड थ्री फोर वीडियोज ऑन एग्रीकल्चर एंड फूड मैनेजमेंट वाला चैप्टर ऑन यूट्यूब बट दिस टाइम बिकॉज आई फर्स्ट वॉन्ट टू फिनिश इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया सो वी आर अगेन हेयर फोकसिंग ऑन थिंग्स विच आर गिवन इन इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया अदर थिंग्स विल डू इन फ्यूचर हम कुछ और अपडेट्स देंगे आपको इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर पे एग्रीकल्चर पे इन करेंट अफेयर्स क्लासेस देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ अदर स्कीम्स प्रोग्राम्स विच वी शुड नो विल डू इट इन फ्यूचर बट आज हम इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया वी विल थरली कम्प्लीट हेयर वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन एग्रीकल्चर एंड फूड मैनेजमेंट चैप्टर विल डू इट हेयर मैड मैन इज आस्किंग सर प्लीज गिव संडे क्लास नोट्स ऑन सैटरडे यहाँ संडे जेरोक्स वाले भी दुकान बंद किए हैं अच्छा मैड मैन जी मतलब मैं दे सकता हूँ अगर मेरे पास हो आफ्टर आफ्टर योर क्लास यस्टरडे आई वेंट होम एंड देन आई स्टार्टेड प्रिपेयरिंग है ना आफ्टर टूडेज क्लास आई विल गो होम एंड आई विल स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर 
जो नेक्स्ट क्लास में पी वालों का लेने वाला हूँ बैलेंस ऑफ तो इट डजेंट वर्क लाइक दिस मेरे पास सब पड़ा हुआ है और मैं दे रहा हूँ आई आई प्रिपेयर ऑल दीज थिंग्स माई सेल्फ तो ऐसा नहीं हो पाएगा क्लास से एक घंटे पहले ही मैं नोट्स देख पाऊंगा गुड इवनिंग सर इज देर एनी ऑप्शन टू डाउनलोड क्वेश्चन पेपर इन पी डी एफ फॉर्म फ्रॉम द पोर्टल येस देर इज एन ऑप्शन एक बार आप पेपर अटेम्प्ट कर लीजिए पूरा विद इन वन डे यू विल बी एबल टू डाउनलोड द एंटायर पेपर एज वेल एज सोल्यूशन फ्रॉम द पोर्टल सर खराब हो गया सर खराब नहीं हुआ तुम्हारा पेपर खराब हुआ काफी सारे क्वेश्चन नॉट करेक्ट वर्ड की वजह से गलत थे नॉट करेक्ट बोल्ड में भी कर रखा है फिर भी गलत करे कॉम्पैक्टेड लग रहा था डिमांड्स बहुत है तुम्हारी चलो लेट स्टार्ट विथ फूड मैनेजमेंट एग्रीकल्चर तो फर्स्ट इन एग्रीकल्चर वी ब्रीफली वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड कि एग्रीकल्चर एंड अलाइड सेक्टर की जब हम बात करते हैं तो इट डज नॉट ओनली इंक्लूड फूड ग्रेन्स वाला सेक्टर लाइक अच्छा पहले लेट्स ओनली टॉक अबाउट the agriculture sector food grains and oil wala sector so you would see that production of food grains see total food grains have been going up almost consistently other than 2014 15 se 15 16 mein thoda sa giravat hai thoda sa downfall hai otherwise it has been going up consistently economic survey of india says that food grain production in the country is rising this year to last year 2021 22 mein they say it was 315 million tons at the same time when we look at pulses see pulses also had some drop here but after that it has risen then 18 19 mein drop hai and then after that it has consistently been rising so in last 3 4 years pulse production has gone up in fact you will see production of pulses has also been notably higher than the average of 20 uh, than the average of 23.8 million tons in the last 5 years so this year the pulse production is more than 25 million tons which is much higher than the average of last few years so pulse production is also going up and this year also the situation would be good and then when you come to oil seed you would see that oil seed production is also kind of yahan pe giravat hai but after that oil seed production has also went up right so what what it shows is what what economic survey of india is saying that food grains bhi aapka badh raha hai pulses production bhi badh raha hai oil seed production bhi badh raha hai now food grain production may primarily it's wheat and rice there are other food grains as well definitely but primarily like uh, if there is 315 uh, sorry around uh, 350 million tons of food grain ka production around 200 plus million tons would that be of wheat and rice so wheat and rice contribute a lot in this production rice ka production india mein agricultural products ki baat karenge hum so rice production is would be the highest followed by the wheat production now uh, last year some problems have been the economic survey of india is highlighting it in the form of ki climate change is causing concern for example uh, the year 2022 witnessed an early heat wave during the wheat harvesting season 2022 ka jo rabi hoga rabi matlab 2021 22 ka jo rabi hoga where wheat harvesting was supposed to take place somewhere in february march it was this affected the overall production then when we come to kharif season monsoon was delayed monsoon pe kharif season mein which is the primary product rice monsoon was delayed and thus paddy uh, cultivation area was lesser than what it generally is so generally uh, uh, you in 2021 22 we uh, sowed paddy in 400 lakh 411 lakh hectares which was reduced by 3.8 lakh hectares in reduced by 3.8 lakh hectares in uh, 2022 last year because of the delayed monsoon otherwise other than this economic survey of india is not giving us any more information okay D did, did we understand this so overall we are saying that general trend of food production is upwards please note hamara jo uh, food production hai overall food production hai which has reached around 315 million tons in 2021 22 food grain production isme uh, pulse production pulse production ka data is somewhere here you will see that it has crossed 25 million tons and uh, oil seed oil seed ka production is somewhere this is the data for oil seed so it is around 35 right now it's around 35 million tons ye baat samajh mein aayi hai to ye rough numbers isliye bhi yaad rakhne kai bar na what happens they give you some very 
blatantly wrong numbers. They would say that India's total food grain production is 30 million tons. They will be like, Mazak kar They will not ask you 301, 302, 303 the way they ask it in PCS examination. But these drastically different numbers, iske baare mein thoda sa clarity rehna chahiye. This is the latest data that we have from Economic Survey of India. Now, please note that sugar cane production would be much larger than even the total food grain production. Because when we talk about cane, its weight is much higher than the weight. So, if sugar cane production, mein aap jaoge, to its, uh, its production would be 350 million tons. But usse jo sugar banega, it will be much smaller in quantity. Okay. So, no, also note this. Ki with, um, we may be producing more sugar cane, sugar cane by weight when compared to food grains that we are producing. Similarly, overall horticulture ka production is also higher than the food grain, total food grain production. Wo bhi 300 million tons se jada ho sakta hai. Usko ek maar verify kar dunga. Economic Survey of India is not talking about. But please understand those aspects also. Okay. Now, let's come to ek, do chizhe aur discuss karni thi mujhe yaha pe. Achha, uh, note this. In 2015-16, pulse prices had increased like anything. If you remember, Sur Dal was available in 180 rupees per kg or 200 rupees per kg. So, from that year, government have been taking steps to create more buffer of pulses. But still, what we see is pulse production is going up, then going down, then again going up. So, you say this, this phenomena is called cobweb phenomena. This phenomena is called cobweb phenomena. It is not being discussed in this budget, but was discussed last year. So, what is cobweb? Here if they say that uh, in when the pulse production is less in the country, prices increase in the country, then government increases MSP. Observe when government increases MSP, in that case more people will come start growing pulse. When more people start growing pulse, pulse ke prices go down. So, government does not increase MSP that much that should have been increased in that year. So, then people stop growing pulses. Pulse production reduces, price price go up. Then government MSP बढ़ा देगा, more pulse would be produced, price go down. This is cobweb phenomena. This is cobweb phenomena. It was discussed last year. It was discussed in Economic Survey of India last year. Okay. For pulses, we are dependent on imports. For oil seeds also, we are dependent on imports. Oil seeds may uh, will will study in, in our uh, agriculture sector. We'll study uh, oil seeds in much more detail. There we'll see that a large part of our oil seed requirement or oil requirement, uh, not only the petroleum wala oil but the vegetable oil that we consume, is imported. So both for pulse and oil seed, we are import dependent. Okay. I think ये हमने पहले भी पढ़ा है कि uh, pulse ka per capita availability has reduced from the time of independence. Have we studied this? Health wali section mein, uh, we generally study it, even agar nahi padha, fir to thoda samaj lete. When compared to what per capita pulse was available for every individual in the country at the time of independence, that has reduced now. Though the pulse production has increased, what has happened, pop, uh, population has increased at much higher rate. So, overall pulse availability has gone down. This has not happened for food grains. Per capita wheat availability or per capita rice availability has kept on increasing, but per capita pulse availability has gone down. One reason for it is government's MSP regime, where they give good enough MSP for wheat and rice and thus farmers have shifted more towards wheat and rice other than uh, the, 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 other than the uh, green revolution and issues associated with it, increased uh, availability of irrigation. With more irrigation being made available, farmers move towards more wheat and rice rather than uh, remaining stick, stuck, stick, uh, sticking with uh, products like millets or pulses which require less amount of water. Fine. Ye baat bhi samaj mein okay. Sir, when will you take economics current? Economics current affairs is children. ESI is economic current affairs, we will do more of it, but economic survey of India and budget is economic current affairs only. Na? Wohi chal hai. We will we'll take more, as I have said, economic survey of India, 
most important current affairs for economy is budget and economic surveys. Na? There are more things. This I have said agriculture. Mein here we are taking one class, but we will study agriculture for five, six hours at least. There are lots of schemes, programs which are not being discussed. Na? Aise infrastructure mein we will cover infrastructure of economic survey of India, but in reality in economic current affairs we will cover way more infrastructure. Na? Banking, we, we have covered money supply wala chapter and all those things here, but banking related schemes, programs which are not discussed here, we will cover it. So, we will continue with this. Okay, abhi science ka RTFQ hoga, saath mein hum economy bhi kar lenge, economy ka RTFQ, before economy is RTFQ, we will do the remaining economy current affairs also. Okay, now let's, let's come back to this. So, ye humne basic things samaj li, uh, what is happening with the food grains overall. Recent years mein, uh, food grains have increased, pulses have increased, oil seeds have increased. Right, but for pulses and oil seeds, we are dependent on import. Pulses per capita, pulses availability has gone down when compared to what was the situation at the time of independence because population increases much higher when compared to that time. Ye kuch basic hai. Now, let us come to MSP. So, MSP, this year Economic Survey of India has not discussed MSP in a lot of detail, but do we all understand what MSP is? Hai na? So, uh, it is the price which government announces. Uh, the minimum price which government announces this pay, uh, you will be able to sell your agricultural products. But uh, please note what happens is ki wheat and rice are procured under open procurement regime and thus wheat and rice if you have grown and if those are of good quantity, you can go to government and say that I have uh, bo uh, bought this much wheat, this much rice, buy it and government will have to buy it at MSP. But MSP is announced for 22 crops plus a sugar cane ke liye FRP is announced. Right. Now, MSP is announced for 22 crops, but not all these crops are procured. Open ended procurement wheat and rice. Ka ho. Then, limited procurement takes place of millet, of uh, pulses, of uh, copra, and of uh, uh, other such products various dals and everything, limited pro, uh, procurement takes place for them. And this is because of, because of this, because of this open ended procurement, uh, farmers tend to grow wheat and rice because they know if they will grow wheat and rice, what would happen? They would definitely be able to sell it at MSP. If I am growing pulse, so government will uh, not procure all the pulse. And thus, I may have to sell pulse in the market at, a, at prices which are lower than lower than MSP. Okay. Now, coming to the next thing. In 2018, government had announced that the MSP that they would be announcing, it will be cost price plus 50 percent. Farmer ko kitna input cost laga hai se produce karne mein per kg plus 50 percent. So, that farmer ka profit would be 50 percent. This is what government had announced in 2018. And since then, every year, like this uh, in 2022 also, for all the 22 crops, MSPs were increased. Why? Because for plus 50 percent to rehna hi padega. Now, cost may go up because of increased prices of fertilizers and everything. So, overall, government increased MSP for the entire 22 crops. This is what Economic Survey of India was discussing. As uh, Economic Survey of India has not discussed this topic in a lot of detail. In our normal economy current affairs class, we will go into the more details about what MSP is, who announces MSP, which are the crops which are under MSP, which are various schemes which have been brought to uh, 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 increase MSP production, uh, MSP procurement and so on. So, what is the Economic Survey of India saying? After the 2018-19 budget announcement, MSP has been pegged at more than 50 percent of the cost of production. I have explained you. Accordingly, the government has been increasing the MSP for all 22 Kharif, Rabi and commercial crops with a margin of at least 50 percent over all India weighted average cost of production since the agriculture year 2018-19. Now, uh, agri credit, agriculture credit, agriculture loan. Agriculture loans are very significant for the growth of agriculture sector. Loans in general are good if you are investing it for capital expenditure. Right, loans for your day to day requirement is bad for your personal economy as well as for the economy of the uh, country. But if you are taking loan 
for capital expenditure. If I am taking loan to start a business, that is good for economy. Why is that good for economy? Because with this loan, I will be able to start business. I will be able to pay back this loan, but this business has been created. And with this business, I will be generating revenue, I will be paying taxes, which is good for economy. Are we, are we understanding it? Are we clear about this? So, loans in general is good for economy. So, similarly, if we are taking loan for agriculture sector, for creating creation of capital, that is good for economy. But agriculture sector, it, for example, if we go to 1970s, you did not used to get a lot of loans. Uh, banking sector may uh, a lot of reforms have taken place. Earlier, banking sector mostly served the urban areas uh, and corporate sector, and that is why nationalization was done. In in some of the previous classes, I have said that various studies shows that nationalization of banks was one of the uh, major reforms for inclusive financial inclusion in the country. That is why nationalization of bank took place. That is why we came with regional uh, rural banks. That is why NABARD was formed so that more funds could be available for agriculture development. Okay. So, what is the status of agri loans? Agriculture credit as a percentage of agriculture GDP has increased from 2 percent in 1970s to 47 percent in 2019-20. Note this carefully. As a percentage of the GDP, if agriculture was contributing 100 rupees in GDP, and in 1970s we were only getting 2 rupees of agriculture loan. Now, if agriculture is contributing 40, uh, 100 rupees in the GDP, it is getting 47 rupees in loan. So, agriculture sector when loans have increased, they have increased drastically. And various initiatives have been responsible for it. Uh, two of the most important initiatives which have been discussed by Economic Survey of India are Kisan Credit Card and Interest Subvention Scheme, which has now been renamed to Modified Interest Subvention Scheme. Kisan credit card initiative was brought in 98 and under this farmers are given a credit card using which a uh, uh, Kisan credit card using which they will be able to get collateral free loans. Credit, credit card se aap kya karte hain? Aap kya account mein paisa nahi rehta hai, tab bhi you are able to withdraw money, you are able to get money. That is what Kisan credit card used to do. Introduced in 1988, the Kisan credit scheme is aimed at providing adequate and timely short term credit uh, needs of the farmer. Now, please note it, it is focused on adequate and timely short term credit. Short term credit means, if a farmer is there, he wants to start sowing the field. So, he would want to buy seeds or fertilizer. This, this is short term credit, it is not capital expenditure. Capital expenditure may need long term money. The purpose of Kisan credit card was to uh, ki farmer immediately may need some money and for that he runs away to money lender who charges unnecessary amount of interest. Can that be solved? Can that be solved for short term credit? Can farmers be provided a solution? So, Kisan credit card initiative was for that purpose. As of December 2022, the latest data that we are taking from Economic Survey of India, KCC, uh, banks have issued KCC to 3.89 crore farmers and the loans, loan limit is 4.5 lakh crore. So, on an average per farmer you can get more than 1 lakh rupees of loan. 3.89 crore farmer, 4.5 lakh crores of loan limit is there. So, credit card would have its limit. You know, different farmers may have different limits there based on their performance and everything. So, this is the limit available. Uh, this is the short term loan which all the farmers together who have KCC would be able to take, would be able to. Okay. Did we understand this? Okay. Now, recent years may KCC facilities have further been made more inclusive. Earlier, KCC was mostly for agricultural farmers, but ab wo, it has been extended to fishery and animal husbandry sector also. It happened only in 2018-19 and as of October 2022, what has happened? 1 lakh KCCs have been sanctioned for fishery sector and 9.5 lakh for animal husbandry sector also. So, now these sectors are, are also eligible to get Kisan credit card and thus Kisan credit card milne ka matlab kya hai? Short term loans you will be able to get from banks. Okay, Hemant is asking, 
sir if government is not procuring all the agri products on msp which have announced then how government give msp on pulses dekho again when government creates buffer no it will buy products but in case of wheat and rice the procurement is open ended so even if government does not have place to keep it government buys those wheat and rice but when it comes to pulses government will only procure that much pulse which it needs pulse is not under open ended procurement but after 2015 16 government has increased the size of its buffer for pulse it's storing more pulse but even now you cannot say that i have bought brought my pulse you have to buy it government may say that no this was our uh, limit of procurement we will not procure beyond this okay uh, did we understand kcc kisan credit card for short term loans and uh, initially it is uh, it was for farmers but from 2018 19 it has also been extended to this sector now modified interest subvention scheme let's understand this modified interest subvention scheme interest subvention means interest pe aapko thoda discount mil so under interest subvention scheme which government has brought farmers are made available subsidized loan jaise if i go to a bank and say ki bhai give me loan bank mein se i'll charge you 10% interest rate for loan i'll charge you 10% interest rate under this scheme farmers will get loans at 7% interest rate if per annum rate is 7 in this scheme short term agricultural credit up to 3 lakh rupees is available at subsidized interest rate of 7% this is also short term agri credit and the limit is 3 lakh fine and this is available for agriculture and allied activities that is animal husbandry sector dairy sector poultry sector also now you have taken this loan and if you are going for prompt repayment or timely repayment then you get further discount of 3% so aapko aise loan milta 7% mein but if you are going for prompt repayment timely repayment then the interest that you will have to pay is only 4% you get another 3% ka another 3% ka subvention this is called prompt repayment incentive it is given to farmers for prompt and timely repayment of loan thus if the he, the uh, farmer repays his loan on time he gets credit at 4% per annum this is interest subvention scheme are we clear about it right this has been going on since 2006 7 so though two important schemes related to credit which which economic survey of india has discussed is kisan credit card and interest subvention scheme हम ऐसे पांच दस और पढ़ेंगे देर आर अ नंबर ऑफ अदर इनिशियटिव वी विल स्टडी केसीसी इन मोर डिटेल और इंटरेस्ट सबवेंशन स्कीम में भी कुछ और पॉइंट समझेंगे बट इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया में ओनली दिस मच ओके फार्म मैकेनाइजेशन और अग्री मैकेनाइजेशन कीर्तवर्धन कीर्तवर्धन जी इज आस्किंग अ क्वेश्चन इज सस्टेन्ड इंक्रीज इक्वल टू स्टडी इंक्रीज देखो इट विल डिपेंड ऑन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट स्टडी इंक्रीज जनरली मींस इट हैज नॉट फॉलन एनी टाइम सो इफ वी से दैट फूड ग्रीन प्रोडक्शन इंडिया इन लास्ट टेन इयर्स हैव हैड कंसिस्टेंट स्टडी इंक्रीज तो नो जनरली इट हैज इट हैज जनरली इट हैज इंक्रीज तो यस जनरली इट हैज इंक्रीज बट consistently increase hua hai nahi we have, we saw that food grain production or pulse production or oil seed production wo consistently increase nahi ho raha our gdp also has not increased consistently because of the financial year 21 in 2020 2021 we had negative gdp growth rate so earlier generally gdp was consistently increasing gdp growth rate may have varied growth rate may had gone up and down but gdp was consistently increasing kyunki har saal वो दो परसेंट तीन परसेंट पांच परसेंट सात परसेंट इट वॉज इंक्रीजिंग ग्रोथ रेट वेन ग्रोथ रेट इज पॉजिटिव जी डी पी इज इंक्रीजिंग बट इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन वॉट हैपेंड अ ग्रोथ रेट बिकेम नेगेटिव द जी डी पी फेल डाउन फाइन मैकेनाइजेशन मैकेनाइजेशन इज रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमन और एनिमल लेबर विथ मशीन ट्रेडिशनली वी यूज बेल्स ox 
right for various purposes we also used a lot of human labor to even today we use a lot of human labor if we replace them by machine that is mechanization that is mechanization of agriculture now why are we going for mechanization what are the advantages of agri mechanization so one increased productivity increased productivity like if you are sowing the field if you have a machine to do that if you then you will be able to sow it deep uh, you will be able to flow it deeper and thus in these in the, in by these mechanisms the overall productivity may go up similarly if you are harvesting crops harvesting may there would be less wastage using modern machines using uh, latest technologies rather than by the traditional mechanisms machines can give you precise way of distribute distribution of uh, let's say fertilizers and all uh, again increasing your overall productivity reduced cost in long run initially because you are buying machines it may become expensive but in long run machines are cheaper than human labor increased soil fertility wohi plowing wagera zyada effectively ho sakta hai reduced water uses so so sprinklers are sprinklers machines yes they promote micro irrigation hai na less water is used so water conservation is also possible by machines reducing post harvest loss labor bottlenecks go away after mg narega came into play uh, pehle labor, labor cost in rural areas was much lesser but with mg narega labor cost went up because uh, laborer would say i rather go and work in mg narega rather than working at this pay with you we have also seen something in future we for next few years our population is going to go up but then it's supposed to decline it's supposed to go down right abhi for uh, target pre batch we may not have done this topic but i think for uh, pre cum mains batch in the past we have done this topic population like topic kiya tha where we had talked about uh, demographic dividend and how things are going to change similarly population of young age people is going to go down abhi nahi abhi for next not for next few years but it's eventually starting to it would eventually start to go down in that scenario what would we need we will need more machines if we'll have less workforce less younger age population will need more machine right so machines would play an important role there it will deal with the labor bottlenecks it will also create skilled jobs now why will it create skilled jobs machines a lot of machines repairing those machines producing those machines you'll need skilled people for that overall increase all these things would lead to overall increase in farmers income okay there are some other reasons why farm mechanization should be promoted future shortage of workforce making our agri export more competitive if production would become cheaper exports would become more competitive boost to india's power sector india's energy requirement would also go up if instead of humans we are using machines electricity consumption would go up it will give boost to power sector but there are some limitations of farm mechanization in a very short run mein we have unemployment levels there are people who are needing work but we are replacing work by machines more energy use more energy use for now we are dependent on fossil fuels so if we increase agriculture mein energy uses because of machines then overall co2 emissions and all those things would go up in long run these problems would not be there in long run more and more people would move out, out from agriculture right now a lot of people are dependent on agriculture moreover workforce would reduce as it 30 years down the line workforce would go down right so we would need machines plus when our energy source shifts to renewable energy then the co2 emission and these problems would be reduced so in long run these would not be problem but in short run ye problems hai but we are promoting mechanization mechanization has more advantages than the short term limitations that may, we may have and economic survey of india have discussed one of the schemes submission on agriculture mechanization submission on agriculture mechanization fine uh, samakshi is asking sir will there be rtfq for polity and history beta in current affairs program we will do revise through 500 questions of science environment economy these three things i promise you we will definitely do theek hai science to this week only that is uh, uh, by next sunday your science ke 500 questions would be done would be completed ओके एनवायरमेंट बिफोर मार्च 15 और उससे पहले ही इकोनॉमी तो बाय बाय मार्च 20 और सो 
science and environment economy would be complete. Now, she is asking what about polity and history. Polity may, as I have told you, uh, Saurabh sir would be joining us from 1st of March and he has said he will be running RTFQ of polity. But I will try to ensure ki that remains in sync with our current affairs coverage of polity. So, that when we are polity current affairs, you are reading it from home static and you are RTFQ. Bhi hai. That would be a better thing, so I will try to do that, but again that is not part of current affairs program and that is not a commitment from my side ki that will definitely be done. Uh, one of my friends have said that he would do it. So, if he does it, all well and good for us, but if he is not doing it, I will pressurize nahi kar paunga. Right, that is why I am not promising it. I say history mein, uh, Nikhil sir se baat karte hai. Hai na? Nikhil sir se baat karte hai. Uh, most probably hona chahiye, if we will have, dekho, if we will have bandwidth, we would definitely do, but bandwidth is a concern. Okay, so I, I hope Samakshi, I have instead of just saying yes or no, I have explained you my situation. Now come back to submission on agree mechanization. Submission on agree mechanization is running since 2014-15. Objective kya hai? Agriculture mechanization badhana among small and marginal farmers. Big farmers are anyways getting mechanized. It is small and marginal farmers who find it difficult. Difficult why? Ek paisa kam hota hai unke paas. Dusra, the machines, the expense on machines may not give them returns for small land. A small and marginal farmer has a small land. Ab wo pura ek tractor khareed le, which is only being used for that small land for a few days in a year. Then the investment would be lost. Sprinklers bhoat sare khareed le, ya phir harvesters and a lot of other machines, this small and marginal farmers buy. This, this farmer may not have money and even if this farmer had money, let us say this farmer has a son like you people and is earning a lot of money, you people are earning a lot of money in city and are sending back money at home. So, farmer may still be small and marginal, but uske was paisa hoga bhi, phir bhi ROI nahi hai of buying machines for small land. So, and that is why farmers are not doing it, here the focus is on ensuring that small and marginal farmers are also mechanizing and under this government. Central government does what or Ministry of Agriculture does what? It helps provides assistance to state government. For what purpose? For imparting training and demonstrating agri machinery, for aiding farmers for procurement of various agri machinery and equipment and most importantly for setting up custom hiring centers. Now, for the small farmer, buying that machine may not be the right option, but renting it for a day or two may reduce the cost for farmer. So, for that government has envisaged custom hiring centers. So, under this mission, state governments are supposed to set up these custom hiring centers and what is center doing? It is providing assistance to state for demonstrating these things, for helping farmers to buy these machineries and for setting up these custom hiring centers as per Economic Survey of India in December 2022. There were 21,000 plus custom hiring centers and some 467 high tech hubs and 18,000 farm machinery banks, which have been established through which small and marginal farmers would be made available these technologies at for limited period at limited cost. Submission on agri mechanization. Okay. Sir, what is this bandwidth? <laughs> bandwidth? I mean, here bandwidth likha hai ka? <laughs> मैंने अपने बैंडविड्थ की बात करी क्या? नहीं अच्छा साइंस एनवायरनमेंट इकोनॉमी तो डेफिनेटली करा रहे हैं मेरे पास बैंडविड्थ हो या ना हो अच्छा पॉलिटी अच्छा नहीं पॉलिटी तो मैं करा ही नहीं रहा ना नाउ लेट्स गो टू इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया में ऑर्गेनिक एंड नेचुरल फार्मिंग प्रमोट करने के वाले कुछ थीम्स डिस्कस किए हैं यस टेनेंट फार्मर्स वुड आल्सो बी एबल टू रेंट ना कस्टम हायरिंग सेंटर यू कैन गो एंड रेंट दैट मशीन अच्छा किसान क्रेडिट कार्ड आई थिंक देखो किसान क्रेडिट कार्ड इज ओनली अवेलेबल फॉर किसान सो इट मे बी पॉसिबिलिटी दैट टेनेंट्स मे फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट देखो इंडिया में ना Formal tenancy is very less, where on documents we show that uh, 
I am sharing. Uh, I am going for shareholding. So T, uh, uh, sh I am going for share cropping. That is very less. See what what uh, understand it from the background of it. At the time of independence, we wanted land reforms to take place. There were a lot of large landlords, zamindars, and there were a large number of small laborers who used to work on these zamins. Now, after independence, government wanted that some of these zamins, some of this land, should be distributed among small and marginal farmers or landless workers, landless laborers who have worked on it. See, these zamindari uh, system may the Mughal rulers or the Delhi Sultanate rulers, who were the system, they gave the landlords ko pure land ki ownership, de di, but they did not actually own that land. And therefore, what was needed was land redistribution, uh, land reforms. Now, in land reforms, one of the hindrance was the system of share cropping. This individual is not able to take care of the huge land that it has. But what this individual was doing? This individual was uh, telling landless people to work on his land, take half of the crops, and keep half for this person. This, this is what happens in sharecropping. But in this situation, what was happening was this landlord was able to take care of the entire land. So, government wanted to hinder sharecropping. And therefore, the laws which were made were such that he share cropping may you will not be able to charge more than 25 percent of the product or uh, if a landless laborer is working on your land since last 10 years that landless laborer may claim ownership over that land these kind of laws were brought in india so what these big landowners started doing they did not they started going for informal or undocumented share cropping ab maine batai pe diya hai apna khet but, but do you understand? But I share cropping. So, I have given my field on share cropping, but it is not there on any of the documents. Because if it is there on the documents, it may happen that the farmer, uh, that landless laborer 10 years down the line may claim that I have been working on this since last 10 years, I own it. Because the laws were made that way. So, now one of the major reforms in our agriculture sector, the demand is the uh, tenancy reforms, where ye share cropping and all these things the law, laws which exist at the state level could be changed. But right now that is not the case. So, for uh, a landless labourer, it is difficult to prove only that I am a farmer. And thus, for a landless labourer, technically it is not a Getting it? Otherwise, I will also tell you that I will give you. You will also tell me that I am a farmer. It matters. The purpose is to support agriculture sector. Purpose is not to support anything else. Right. So, if I do not have a proof that I am doing agriculture, then why Kisan credit card? It could have been Aam Admi credit card. Oh, controversial. Aam Insan credit card. Na? Right. So, uh, let us now come to. Did, did we understand the problem? Uh, okay. Now, let us come to. Uh, this topic organic farming or natural farming do we understand organic farming now organic farming would include uh, would not include any of the synthetic fertilizers or uh, so, sorry synthetic word, chemical fertilizers insecticides pesticides etc then organic farming is also so associated with a number of good farming practices for example intercropping for example mixed agriculture for example uh, going for uh, let's say uh, ensuring that the uh, organic waste that is produced remains on the field itself. Mulching. These are good farming practices and organic farming we include all these things. You know, here we are not only going to talk about organic farming, there is another component of organic farming that is natural farming. So, what is natural farming? Uh, all the traditional way of farming in India, which are environmentally sustainable, we bring them under the umbrella of natural farming. For example, zero budget natural farming ki jab baat karte, it is also a type of natural farming. So, government is taking steps not only to promote organic farming, government is taking steps not only to promote organic farming, but recently, jo organic farming ke liye apna jo main initiative hai, under that it has brought a sub program for promotion of natural farming 
as well. Okay, so which are the schemes? Let's let's which are the schemes which have been discussed in Economic Survey of India? Let us quickly discuss that. As a before scheme, let us look at some of the these things. The Economic Survey of India says that uh, India has forty four lakh organic farmers. Now, see what happens really is. Uh, 86% of the land holdings in India are small and marginal, chote wale land holdings. And these small and marginal farmers generally do not buy insecticides, pesticides or fertilizers. Because poor farmers, they do not have the money to. So, by this, if they are not using those chemicals, they are organic farmers. So, India has world's highest number of organic farmers. India has world's highest number of organic farmers, 46 lakh organic farmers are there in the country, highest in the world and about 59 lakh hectare area was brought under organic farming by 2021-22, by 2020, this much area was under organic farming. Area wise if you will go, Madhya Pradesh has the highest area under organic farming followed by Maharashtra and Rajasthan, uh, but if you will go like uh, percentage wise, so Sikkim has already declared that uh, the entire state they have made it organic. Similarly, there are some other states. Tripura, Uttarakhand, which are also having similar target and in next few years they target to become organic state. In fact, Arunachal, oh sorry Arunachal, uh, Sikkim has become the first state in the world to become fully organic. Right? Yes, yes. Okay. हाँ ये इस ये जो doubt is genuine कि सर natural farming की जब हम बात करेंगे will we be using machines there है ना traditionally see uh, what happens is uh, if the machines are not let's say uh, creating CO2 emissions if the machines are adding to the overall productivity if machines are adding to sustainability तो शायद उसका use करना would be okay but I don't think uh, कि it is being promoted through these initiatives to these initiatives, we say, we will come to initiatives, the focus is on uh, the other non-machine components, fertilizer, insecticide, which practices should be followed. Now, to, 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 to uh, implement those practices, machines may be used. We say that mulching ka practice use hona Mulching is when you cover the land with the agri waste, that is mulching, that protects the soil and also adds nutrients in the soil in the long run. Now, now to do mulching if you are using machine, you could have used human labor, but if you are using machine that could be allowed, right, that, uh, yes, you, human beings uh, handle tools say sickle say wo sab kar sakte hai, but if machine is being used there that should be allowed. I hope you, I understood your question, ki, it was a good question, but I hope you are, you are, you are satisfied with my explanation, okay. एक सेकंड दे दीजिए सर वाज ऑपरेशन बरगा वन सच मेजर टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट लैंड अमंग्स टिलर्स यार मुझे पता नहीं इम्तियाज व्हाट इज ऑपरेशन किसी को पता है ऑपरेशन बरगा क्या है नहीं एमएसपी इज अ पैन इंडिया स्कीम बट व्हाई प्रोक्योरमेंट इज मोस्टली लिमिटेड टू पंजाब देखो अगेन आयुष वी आर गोइंग टू गोइंग इनटू दोस टॉपिक्स व्हिच आर नॉट देयर इन इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया राइट हम बता देते हैं देखो एमएसपी का प्रोक्योरमेंट एस वी वर सेइंग कि 86 परसेंट ऑफ़ द लैंड होल्डिंग्स इन इंडिया आर स्मॉल एंड मार्जिनल्स तो फार्मर्स आर स्मॉल एंड मार्जिनल तो व्हाट हैपेंस इस डेट फॉर दोस स्मॉल एंड मार्जिनल फार्मर्स दे विल बी प्रोड्यूसिंग वेरी लेस अमाउंट ऑफ़ र and thus the MSP ka benefit, most of the MSP benefits are being taken by large farmers who produce large quantity of products and are ready to transport it to the local mandi where uh, or local mandi or the food, food corporation of India's procurement place where the government will be buying things at MSP. And uh, Eastern India mein jaise kya hua hai, land fragmentation has happened a lot, so small and marginal farmers have increased a lot. At that that is one fact. Then another fact, another another thing is the green revolution. Green revolution positively impacted some parts of the country more. For example, 
पंजाब हरियाणा वेस्ट इंडीज उत्तर प्रदेश रीजन वॉज इम्पैक्टेड पॉजिटिवली आंध्र प्रदेश कोस्टल आंध्र प्रदेश वॉज इम्पैक्टेड पॉजिटिवली तो फार्मर्स देर आर मच मोर प्रॉस्परस लैंड देर आर मच मोर लार्जर मच लार्जर तो दोज फार्मर्स आर एबल टू बेनिफिट फ्रॉम एम एस पी मोर बट अगेन दो आई हैव आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर नाउ फॉर नाउ आई एल नॉट टेक दिस क्वेश्चन बिकॉज माई पर्पज इज टू फिनिश इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया जल्दी से जल्दी एंड देन दीज आर सम मेन रिलेटेड टॉपिक्स वो हम पढ़ते रहेंगे फ्यूचर में सर प्लीज प्लीज सर टेल अबाउट लैंड होल्डिंग इन इंडिया अरुण बिकॉज इट्स नॉट डिस्कस इन इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया वी आर नॉट डिस्कसिंग इट बट अभी हम इकोनॉमी का करंट अफेयर्स जब कर रहे होंगे ना देर विल टॉक अबाउट अग्री सेंसेस ऑफ इंडिया एंड देर विल टॉक अबाउट वेरियस काइंड ऑफ लार्ज मीडियम स्मॉल मार्जिनल लैंड होल्डिंग्स एंड किसका कितना डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन है स्मॉल एंड मार्जिनल लैंड होल्डिंग्स आर एटी सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल नंबर ऑफ लैंड होल्डिंग्स इन द कंट्री स्मॉल एंड मार्जिनल में टू हेक्टेयर से कम वाले लैंड एरिया ठीक है स्मॉल एंड मार्जिनल टू हेक्टेयर से कम वाले हैं उसमें मार्जिनल और स्मॉल अलग अलग है बट अभी उसमें नहीं जाते टेन हेक्टेयर से ज्यादा बड़ा लैंड है तो वो लार्ज लैंड होते हैं ओके तो वी वुड स्टडी दिस वी वुड स्टडी दिस इन द करंट अफेयर्स प्रोग्राम बट अगेन प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड कि इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया का वन एग्रीकल्चर चैप्टर आई कैनॉट मेक इट द एंटायर अग्री चैप्टर द एंटायर अग्री चैप्टर वी विल डू इन द करंट अफेयर्स ओके so we are we were we were talking about organic farming and natural farming so organic farming and natural farming we know that india has the largest number of uh, organic farmers we have a large area under organic cultivation some of the major scheme flagship scheme for this is paramparagat krishi vikas yojana parampara tradition paramparagat traditional agriculture development program paramparagat krishi vikas yojana pk vy परंपरागत ट्रेडिशनली तो वी हैव नॉट यूज केमिकल फर्टिलाइजर्स तो इट बिकम्स ऑर्गेनिक नाउ अंडर दिस प्रोग्राम हाउ इज गवर्नमेंट सपोर्टिंग मूवमेंट टू ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग गवर्नमेंट इज फॉलोइंग व्हाट इज कॉल्ड क्लस्टर्ड अप्रोच इन क्लस्टर्ड अप्रोच अ क्लस्टर ऑफ लैंड हैविंग फिफ्टी एकर्स एट लीस्ट इज टेकन अ नंबर ऑफ फार्मर्स में कम टूगेदर विथ 50 acres of land cluster of 50 acres is considered and for this cluster 20000 rupees per acre is provided in 3 years so let's say all of us are farmers hum we'll make a cluster we'll come together and make a cluster of 50 acres and then we can go to the government and say ki yahan pe organic farming karna hai government will say we will provide you farmers 20000 rupees per acre if you are ready to convert it into organic farm over the next 3 years 60% of this money or 61% of this money will be provided directly as dbt on input or when you are you will be buying fertilizers you will be buying bio fertilizers bio pesticides organic manure you will not buy the chemical ones so is pe aapko government discount dilta so that you are able to get these things at lower prices one lower than what it otherwise is available at under this cluster scheme okay so out of the 60% is provided directly to for dbt and rest of the money is provided to you for other purpose so if you are ready to shift to organic government is ready to give you 20000 rupees uh, over a period of 3 years but this should happen in a clustered manner aap chote chote fields ki baat nahi kar sakte and the entire cluster is being converted into organic agriculture did we understand paramparagat krishi vikas yojana what is being done under this are we clear about it a sub program under it has been launched recently which is bhartiya prakritik krishi paddhati bhartiya prakritik krishi paddhati it's a sub scheme of paramparagat krishi, krishi vikas yojana since 2020 21 for the promotion of traditional indigenous practice for encouraging all forms of ecological farming including जीरो बजट नेचुरल फार्मिंग तो नेचुरल फार्मिंग की बात कर रहे हैं हम प्राकृतिक प्राकृतिक इज नेचुरल कृषि नेचुरल एग्रीकल्चर नेचुरल फार्मिंग की बात कर रहे हैं तो ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग इज वन टाइप ऑफ नेचुरल फार्मिंगली फॉलोइंग देर आर अदर मैकेनिज्म दैट वी मे हैव यूज ऑल दो सस्टेनेबल वे ऑफ फार्मिंग सस्टेनेबल वे ऑफ केमिकल फ्री फार्मिंग इज बींग सपोर्टेड थ्रू दिस इनिशियटिव हेर ऑल्सो 
methods that which are used are similar. You would see uh, that the scheme focuses upon capacity building, training, hand holding. The scheme mostly emphasizes the exclusion of all synthetic chemicals input, promotion of on farm biomass recycling, biomass mulching, use of cow dung formulation, plant based preparation, and so on under BPKP financial assistance of 12,200 per hectare is provided for a period of three years for cluster formation capacity building. So, here we will go by cluster approach and here the government will provide you support over a period of three years for moving from the chemical based unsustainable agriculture to the natural farming method. Got it? Did we understand this? So, this is a sub program under Parampara Grat Krishi Vikas Yojana. Then, like Parampara Grat Krishi Vikas Yojana, there was an, another, another program, Mission Organic Value Chain Development for Northeastern region. It was focused on North East. Same, same idea was there, organic cultivation would be promoted in Northeastern India. So, it is a central sector scheme and a submission under National Mission for Sustainable Agriculture. It was launched by Ministry of Agriculture and Farmer Welfare. Uh, in northeastern states, but in all the eight northeastern states, Sikkim could be included, not, not only in the seven sisters in 2015. So, here again similar uh, benefits, 25,000 rupees per hectare for three years would be given uh, for organic inputs including organic manure and biofertilizer. The scheme also provides an end to end support to farmers from farm to fork including quality of production, effective post harvest management, value addition through processing and direct marketing linkages to national and international market. So, basically farmers there are organic farmers. Farmers are asked to up organic farming may shift. We will provide you financial support plus we will provide you other support as well. Marketing support, ki organic products, organic labeling, organic marketing and so on. It is also aimed at developing certified organic products. So, over the years, uh, during the last five years, the scheme has covered 74,880 hectares. Government now targets to 1 lakh hectare area under 200 new FPOs over a period of 3 years between 2021 and 24. Northeastern region is not part of Paramparagrat Krishi Vikas Yojana noted carefully since a dedicated scheme MOVCD NER was launched here. So, Paramparagrat Krishi Vikas Yojana and this scheme are different. A Paramparagrat Krishi Vikas Yojana is not being implemented in Northeastern region. This scheme is there for Northeastern region. Are we clear about it? Yes, over and above that. Yes, yes. See, right now I may be using chemical fertilizers. Government is saying, bhai, you shift to organic methods. I will shift to organic methods. I will do my cultivation. I will earn profit. That is fine. But beyond that, 25,000 rupees in 3 years would be provided by government for every hectare, which I have converted from inorganic or chemical agriculture to organic agriculture, it is beyond that. Now, some other initiatives in agriculture sector have, uh, have been discussed by Economic Survey of India. We will quickly go through these initiatives. Ek hai PM Kisan, 2019 mein announced hua tha, 2018 mein, 18 December ke aspas announced hua tha, uh, 19 mein elections the, usse pehle, all the farmers in the country would be given 6,000 rupees every year. In three installments of 2,000 rupees each, so four monthly installment uh, of 2,000 rupees each and it was made applicable retrospectively. So, even for December to March 2018 period, December to March 2018 period, that is before 2019 election, pehla 2,000 rupees ka installment was given to all the that was the idea. What is it? It is income support scheme. It is income support scheme where farmers are not give, being given subsidy for some product, for some agricultural product, the way it is being given in case of let us say MSP. MSP mein kya hota hai? Farmers are being told in market you are able to sell it in 10 rupees per kg, do not worry, I will buy it in 12 rupees per kg. So, in this way 2 rupees of subsidy has been given to farmer by government, but that is impacting particular product. Here, this is income support scheme. It is irrespective of the product, irrespective of the amount of land that you have. Every farmer gets 2000 rupees every four months. Every farmer gets 6000 rupees in the entire year. 
Did we get it? Did we understand? So, uh, it was announced in budget 2019-20, income support to help declining income of farmers supplement financial needs for input procurement. Uh, provisions hai hai pata hai. The scheme covers all 14.5 crore landholders. Abhi, uh, it is not being given to all the landholders because slowly and slowly everyone is being covered, but 14.5 crore landholders would come here. Some exclusion is there. Institutional landholders are kept out and then these people, like if you are if you are president of India and you say that you are a farmer. Apko nahi milega. If your family uh, has MPs, MLAs, uns, wo, uh, you are serving in group A jobs and uh, all these exceptions are there. They don't get it, otherwise every farmer gets it, no matter what your income is. A state and union government, UT, UT government will be responsible for identifying the eligible families. So far, 11.3 crore farmers were covered under the scheme in its April to September wala phase. Sorry, April to July 2020. Jo April, first quarter of April, May, June, July. Tha na, Usme, how many farmers were covered? 11.3 crore farmers were covered. Uh, eventually, the goal is to cover all the 14 crore farm, 14.5 crore farmers, farmers or landholders. Right now, this much coverage is taking place. PM Kisan. Okay. Hemant is asking, sir, what is zero budget? Zero budget? No expense. That is zero budget. So there's a type of farming called, called zero budget natural farming. Abhi nahi padte, else it will delay this class unnecessarily. In in uh, in more when as I've said, we'll be covering more current affairs. So while covering those current affairs, I'll like ensure ki I'm not covering these topics again. So that economic survey of India, which you have done, that is what you have to do. Plus, I'll cover some more current affairs where we'll talk about integrated farming, zero budget natural farming, all those are different types of farming. There, I'll explain it in more detail. Okay, abhi economic survey of India, khatam karte hain jaldi se. Agriculture infrastructure fund. Agri infrastructure. What is that? PM Kisan, did we understand? PM Kisan, mein, does state have to contribute anything? Please remember. Haan, please remember situation of time. Just before election, we had to start this initiative. Getting every state on board would have been difficult. And you have to get votes from all the states. So, Patafat. We brought this, it was started. Right, I say, Yadbi Rak Saktoki, your state does not have any role to play. Another central sector scheme is Agri Infrastructure Fund. What is this uh, initiative? Look at the name Agri Infrastructure. This initiative is focused on development of agriculture infrastructure. It provides medium to long term loans. Under this initiative, Medium to long term loans. They were short term loans. Nahi. Short term loans were given for by KCC or interest subvention. That is for your immediate needs. But to see, you cannot create capital. You will not be able to create capital. The, those are for immediate needs. Ke harvesting ke baad you will pay the money. That was short term. If you need to create capital, you will need medium to long term loans. So, medium to long term loans for post harvest management infrastructure and for community farming. So, Agri Infrastructure Fund is a central sector scheme where infrastructure fund, infrastructure fund, where, where farmers are being made available loans. Loans kaun denge? Banks hi denge of medium to long term for post harvest management infrastructure and for community farming as such. Now, Loans would be dispersed between this period 2021 to 2025 26. Initially, it was for limited period, but it's this year Economic Survey of India made data. Diya hua hai. Pehle, initially, the plan was 1 lakh crore would be dispersed in 4 years 10,000 crore, 30,000, 30,000, 30,000. But that dispersal has not happened under this. Abhi kuch 13, 14,000 crore rupees ka dispersal hua hai in the last 3 4 years. So now they have extended the scheme. Ki loans you can take this loan in this period and Interest subvention and credit guarantee would be available. If you loan, you will get loan pay discount mil raha hai. and credit guarantee. Bhi mil so, let us understand this. Intended beneficiary, 1 lakh crore to be provided by bank and financial institutions. To who? To primary agric agriculture credit societies. These are all cooperatives 
फार्मर कोऑपरेटिव्स मार्केटिंग कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटी एफपीओ सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स फार्मर्स जॉइंट लायबिलिटी ग्रुप्स अग्री एंटरप्रेन्योर स्टार्टअप सेंट्रल स्टेट एजेंसीज लोकल बॉडीज पीपीपी प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑल ऑफ देम मे गो फॉर दिस लोन अब इस लोन पे इंटरेस्ट सबवेंशन भी मिल रहा है मींस मार्केट लोन से कम रेट पे अवेलेबल होगा तो उस फंड से क्या होगा उस फंड से मनी वुड बी गिवन टू बैंक फॉर इंटरेस्ट सबवेंशन द फंड दैट इज हु इज गिविंग लोन गवर्नमेंट इज गिविंग लोन तो व्हाट इज दिस वन लाख करोड़ बीइंग यूज्ड फॉर फॉर फंडिंग बैंक्स इंटरेस्ट डिस्काउंट मिल रहा है ना तो व्हाई वेयर वुड बैंक गिव डिस्काउंट फ्रॉम बैंक को तो सब पैसा गवर्नमेंट देगी दिस इज हाउ इंटरेस्ट सबवेंशन इज बीइंग गिवन प्लस तो यू गेट इंटरेस्ट सबवेंशन ऑफ 3% पर एनम अप टू अ लिमिट ऑफ 2 करोड़ दिस सबवेंशन विल बी अवेलेबल फॉर अ मैक्सिमम पीरियड ऑफ 7 इयर्स तो इनिशियली व्हेन यू स्टार्ट व्हेन यू टेक लोन for next 7 years you will get interest subvention of 3% the, if the bank charges let's say 10% interest rate medium short term interest rate, uh, medium short term loan hai so this medium loan short term loan can be for longer period 5 years 10 years so every year you have to pay the, the interest that us interest pe aapko subvention mil raha hai 3% ka but this interest subvention is not available for the entire period of loan it is only available for the first 7 years second government is also providing credit guarantee what is credit guarantee now think of this farmer this farmer took loan and this farmer was like jayesh usne isko kis kya bandi ka naam tha tumhare joyti 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 was the name na joyta 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 ko valentine gift kar diya bada sa diamond necklace he took loan for infrastructure and he gifted diamond necklace to joyta अब उसका इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंप्रूव हुआ नहीं ये लोन वापस नहीं कर पाएगा लोन इज लॉस्ट बट द बैंक वाज नॉट रेडी टू गिव हिम लोन बैंक गिव हिम लोन बिकॉज गवर्नमेंट ब्रॉट अ स्कीम बैंक वाज नॉट रेडी टू गिव हिम लोन एट लो इंटरेस्ट गवर्नमेंट सेड आई विल कॉम्पनसेट फॉर दैट इंटरेस्ट लॉस दैट यूर है बैंक वॉज नॉट रेडी टू गिव हिम लोन अदरवाइज राइट तो यहां पर अब जब लॉस होगा तो गवर्नमेंट विल प्रोवाइड क्रेडिट गारंटी तो टू थिंग्स आर बींग प्रोवाइडेड थ्रू दिस फंड what interest subvention and credit guarantee if farmers like him are not able to you may not be a farmer if farmers like him are not able to pay back loan back pay the loan back then credit guarantee is also being provided are we clear about it but this credit guarantee is available for a loan of up to 2 crore similarly interest subvention per annum up to a limit of 2 crore is available not more than that the fee for the coverage will be paid by government moratorium for repayment under this financing facility may vary uh, subject to minimum of 6 months and maximum of 2 years see when you take a car loan when you take a car loan in that case what happens from the next month only you will have to pay emi right here मोरेटोरियम इज देयर मोरेटोरियम मतलब ब्रेक ऑन रीपेमेंट योर रीपेमेंट में स्टार्ट समटाइम्स लेट डिड वी गेट इट आयुषी इज आस्किंग सर इज पी एम किसान ओनली फॉर स्मॉल एंड मार्जिनल फार्मर्स नहीं पी एम किसान पी एम किसान हैज बिन एक्सटेंडेड टू ऑल द इनिशियली इट वॉज लॉन्च फॉर स्मॉल एंड मार्जिनल फार्मर्स बट इट हैज नाउ बिन एक्सटेंडेड टू ऑल द फार्मर्स एक्सेप्ट हाँ लैंड होल्डिंग फार्मर्स है तो लैंड होल्डिंग All the land holding farmers, except जो अपन ने list बताई थी, if you are an institutional land holder or if if you are MLA, MP, Group A jobs, Group B jobs, and those 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 other things. Okay. Naina बोल रही है, we are missing Jayesh. भाई भाई भी लिखा है. We are missing Jayesh. वो एकदम खुश हो रहा था. तुमने नयन नयना तुमने दिल तोड़ दिया बेचारे का. हैं? जानते हो आप नयन को? तो वो क्यों मिस कर रही है तुम्हें क्या पता पता नहीं यार अब मैडमैन इज आस्किंग व्हाट इज इंस्टीट्यूशनल इंस्टीट्यूशनल उसका नाम मैडमैन लिखा है भाई ने क्या बताऊ मैं अब वो कुछ भी हो सकता है तो इसके सारे आंसर कर देते हैं गुस्सा हो जाएगा मैड लिखा भी है नाम में व्हाट आर इंस्टीट्यूशनल लैंड होल्डर्स इंस्टीट्यूशनल लैंड होल्डर्स ना एक टेक्निकल डेफिनेशन है इसका वो बहुत बड़े लैंड होल्डर्स होते हैं मेरे को एग्जैक्टली मैं आपको देख के बता दूंगा बट दीज आर वेरी रिच वेरी बिग लैंड होल्डर्स 
उनको बोला जाता है मैं एग्जैक्ट टेक्निकल डेफिनेशन आपको बताता हूँ अभी मुझे ध्यान नहीं है कोई किसी को पता है क्या ओके बिग लैंड होल्डर्स हाँ पर वो बिग लैंड होल्डर्स का एग्जैक्ट टेक्निकल डेफिनेशन में बताता हूँ नो कम तो दे दे आर नॉट कवर्ड तो दे आर नॉट कवर्ड अंडर दिस इनिशिएटिव कॉर्पोरेट्स में आल्सो बी डूइंग दैट यस कहाँ थे हम तो डिड वी अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इन द एग्रीकल्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट फंड वन लाख करोड़ रुपीज का फंड है इससे लोन नहीं दिया जा रहा लोन वुड बी गिवन बाय बैंक इंटरेस्ट सबवेंशन वुड बी गिवन फ्रॉम दिस फंड इंटरेस्ट सबवेंशन वुड बी गिवन फ्रॉम दिस फंड क्रेडिट गारंटी मे कम फ्रॉम हेयर प्लस दर इज अ मोरेटोरियम एंड लोन रीपेमेंट दिस काइंड ऑफ एडवांटेजेस आर प्रोवाइडेड अंडर एग्रीकल्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट फंड वाई इज गवर्नमेंट प्रोमोटिंग एग्रीकल्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बिकॉज इंडिया में वी लूज अ लॉट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोडक्ट बिकॉज ऑफ पुअर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर पोस्ट हार्वेस्टिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज नॉट गुड स्टोरेज इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज नॉट गुड टमाटर सड़ जाते हैं आलू सड़ जाते हैं ट्रांसपोर्टेशन फैसिलिटीज आर नॉट गुड एंड दैट इज वाई दर इज अ लॉट ऑफ फोकस ऑन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट एंड दिस फंड इज फोकस्ड ऑन दैट डेवलपमेंट आर वी क्लियर एग्रीकल्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट फंड ओके प्रधानमंत्री फसल बीमा योजना नाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड प्रधानमंत्री फसल बीमा योजना अंडरस्टैंड द सिचुएशन बिफोर प्रधानमंत्री फसल बीमा योजना देखो फसल बीमा इज एग्रीकल्चर इंश्योरेंस नाउ एग्रीकल्चर इंश्योरेंस मीन्स दैट इफ आई हैव इफ आई हैव ग्रोन सम क्रॉप एंड सम हाउ देर वॉज देर वर लॉसेस इट मे बी बिकॉज ऑफ हेल्थ स्टॉम इट मे बी बिकॉज ऑफ लैंड स्लाइड इट मे बी बिकॉज ऑफ फायर इट मे बी बिकॉज ऑफ सम अदर फैक्टर ड्रॉट एंड एनी अदर कैलामिटी अब लॉस दैट इन दैट सिचुएशन इंश्योरेंस शुड बी एबल टू बेनिफिट यू जैसे इस बिल्डिंग का इंश्योरेंस है तो कल इसमें आग लग जाती है वी विल लूज लूज अ लॉट ऑफ एसेट इंश्योरेंस कंपनी वुड पे फॉर इट बट वेर इज इंश्योरेंस कंपनी गेटिंग द मनी फ्रॉम a lot of people are paying the premium uh, paying the monthly uh, premium or uh, yearly premium not all of them are going to not all of them are going to face this fire accident so they collect much more money and then a part of it they give to people who face these calamities this is how insurance companies function did we understand this now in case of agri insurance what used to happen earlier एग्रीकल्चर में ना लॉस देर देर इज ऑलवेज अ चांस ऑफ लॉस बिकॉज इंडिया में एग्रीकल्चर इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन मानसून एग्रीकल्चर इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन अ लॉट ऑफ अदर सच नेचुरल वेगैरीज तो ओल्डर स्कीम्स में द प्रीमियम रेट्स यूज टू बी वेरी हाई तो इफ लेट से माई एग्रीकल्चर आउटपुट इज सपोज टू बी ऑफ वन लाख क्रोर और वन लाख क्रोर ज्यादा हो गया वन लाख रुपीज सपोज एग्रीकल्चर आउटपुट ऑफ माई लैंड इज ऑफ वन लाख insurance companies would do the calculation and would say uh, give me 10000 rupees in 10000 rupees i'll give you a cover of 1 lakh rupees are, are you are you are we getting this let me let me simplify it jaise abhi aajkal ad aate hain alag alag companies ke about term life insurance on 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 youtube and all you must have seen this ad where this women is saying tumne jaane se pehle term insurance kyon nahi karaya right Uh, you must have seen this kind of ad abhi i was uh, watching some video uh, uh, one or two days back and i saw this ad so i remembered ki abhi main padha bhi raha tha so there they were saying ki in in 450 rupees or something you get a cover of 1 crore rupees so you will pay 450 rupees a year and you get a cover of 1 crore rupees ye life insurance hai so now many people will be paying this 450 rupees and some of them may die उन लोगों को एक एक करोड़ रुपए मिलेंगे बट बट दिस इंश्योरेंस कंपनी इज कवरिंग मच लार्जर अमाउंट ऑफ मनी मच लार्जर अमाउंट ऑफ मनी आर वी गेटिंग दिस एंड दिस इज हाउ इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज बेनिफिट बट लेट से लेट से ये जो नंबर ऑफ लोग जो बढ़ रहे हैं उसके चांसेस बढ़ जाते हैं तो दिस इंश्योरेंस कंपनी विल हैव टू पे हायर अमाउंट हायर मनी एंड दिस फोर फिफ्टी रुपीज में नॉट मेक दम प्रॉफिटेबल so they may increase the premium they may increase the premium ki bhai 450 mein to 1 crore ka cover nahi mil raha ab 
बहुत सारे मर रहे हो लेटेस्ट लेटेस्ट इंक्रीज इट टू सिक्स फिफ्टी और यू मस्ट सीन दिस इंश्योरेंस कंपनी चार्ज हाइयर प्रीमियम फॉर एल्डरली बिकॉज प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ द डाइंग इज हायर राइट फॉर फॉर हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस ऑल्सो देर प्रीमियम में भी हायर आर बी गेटिंग दिस तो नाउ कमिंग टू एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर तो एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर बिकॉज आर फार्मर्स आर वलनरेबल टू नेचर वेरिएबिलिटीज इफ फार्मर इज सपोज टू ग्रो फूड क्रॉप वर्ड वन लाख रुपीज तो फार्मर वुड से नो इन केस ऑफ लॉस लेट्स फ्लड आ गया एंड एवरीथिंग इज डिस्ट्रॉयड इंश्योरेंस कंपनी शुड बी एबल टू पे मी वन लाख रुपीज तो इंश्योरेंस कंपनी से ओ क्या पे वन लाख रुपीज बट प्रीमियम वुड बी टेन थाउजेंड प्रीमियम वुड बी टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज नाउ थिंक ऑफ दिस फार्मर इस फार्मर का टोटल प्रोडक्ट ही वन लाख रुपीज का था उसमें ऑलरेडी ही हैज इन्वेस्टेड थर्टी फोर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज इन सीड्स एंड फर्टिलाइजर्स एंड इन लेबर एंड एवरीथिंग एंड देन ही इज बींग आस्ट की भाई टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज और दो फॉर इंश्योरेंस कवर तो इंश्योरेंस कवर इन इंडिया वॉज लेस वन बिकॉज वी डिड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ इंश्योरेंस बट ऑल्सो बिकॉज दिस प्रीमियम वॉज वेरी हाई दिस प्रीमियम वॉज वेरी हाई टेन परसेंट प्रीमियम बहुत ज्यादा होता है और इट वॉज डिफिकल्ट टू चार्ज देन टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज बिकॉज लेट्स ए छोटा फार्मर है तो दे वुड से इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज और गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स प्रोग्राम वॉट दे वुड डू कि कवर वन लाख का नहीं देते थे आउटपुट इज दैट ऑफ वन लाख रुपीज दे विल गिव यू कवर ऑफ ओनली ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड रुपीज एंड देन देल चार्ज यू इंश्योरेंस प्रीमियम ऑफ टू थाउजेंड रुपीज इफ यू विल डाई यू विल नॉट गेट वन करोड़ यू विल गेट ट्वेंटी लैक्स तो आपका प्रीमियम कम हो जाएगा इन द सेम वे इन केस ऑफ योर लॉस you will not get entire 1 lakh rupees you only get partial amount and thus your premium was lesser so coverage was also less another reason why there were very less number of people who were taking loans agri loans premium rates were high coverage was less even the calamities were very few of the calamities were covered damages may happen because of a number of reasons but not all those number of reasons were covered very few of the calamities were covered so to resolve all these problems government came up with pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana agriculture insurance scheme or agriculture insurance scheme did we understand this now how are we resolving this problem under pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana under pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana they say that there will be no limit on the premium that you can charge provide full coverage agar the output is that of 1 lakh rupees you charge as much premium as you want there would be different companies which would come and they would bid jo sabse kam premium pe dega usse mil jayega so let's say this 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 company comes and says i'll charge you 10000 rupees government is saying ki fine charge 10000 rupees fine the same problem would have occurred as the previous one in this high premium farmers would not have taken this insurance so government has said insurance can company can charge high premium rate fine but farmers will only pay 1.5% 2% and 5% on kharif rabi and horticulture so where would the rest of the money be paid 1 lakh ka 1.5% is only 1500 rupees where would other 8500 rupee come from government will तो प्रधानमंत्री फसल बीमा योजना में द प्रीमियम्स हैव बीन केप्ट एट वेरी लो लेवल फॉर फार्मर इंश्योरेंस कंपनी को अभी भी पूरा पैसा मिल रहा है इंश्योरेंस कंपनी इज गेटिंग गुड इनफ मनी दे आर गेटिंग फुल मनी बट दैट इज बीइंग पेड बाय गवर्नमेंट एंड दिस इज यूनिफॉर्म फॉर ऑल द खरीफ क्रॉप फॉर ऑल द रबी क्रॉप अर्लियर देर वर अ लॉट ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज i hope i hope you are understanding this you are understanding the idea behind pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana okay we we'll look into more details but first we have to understand how it was uh, the core reason why because of which it is different from other uh, older schemes so kharif pe 1 point if i am getting a cover of 1 lakh rupees and i only have to pay 1500 rupees i'll be like rabi pe na sorry ha rabi pe 1.5 hai ulta kar diya ke maine हाँ रबी पे 1.5 है खरीफ पे 2 है 
रबी पे वन पॉइंट थ्री खरीफ इज मानसून डिपेंडेंट ना तो रिस्क ज्यादा है इसे याद रख सकते हैं एंड देर फॉर इट हैज हाइयर प्रीमियम दिस इज हाउ आई आई ट्राई टू रिमेम्बर वन पॉइंट फाइव फॉर खरीफ टू परसेंट फॉर रबी एंड एंड फाइव परसेंट फॉर हॉर्टिकल्चर क्रॉप दिस इज यूनिफॉर्म थ्रू आउट दिस दैट वॉज इन द केस विथ प्रीवियस ओके Imtiaz is saying it is on papers only. I had to transfer my apple produce to Jalandhar for cold storage availability. Ah, okay. Economic Survey of India is on paper. We are exam के लिए पढ़ना है. We are not going to get into how effective these schemes are for us. Effectiveness is for now the numbers which are being told here. है ना? करेंगे means के time for a critical analysis. अभी उसमें नहीं जाएंगे. Sir, is it economically viable to pay one crore in return of one thousand per month because eventually everyone is going to die? अरे तो it doesn't work like this. देखो ऐसे सोचो one thousand rupees of uh, let's say monthly premium is being paid by ten lakh people. Ten lakh people. This is they they would do their calculation. दस लाख लोग हैं उनके कस्टमर्स देर पेइंग वन थाउजेंड रुपीज तो वॉट टेन लाख वॉट इज द मंथली कवर मंथली पेमेंट दैट इंश्योरेंस कंपनी इज गेटिंग वन थाउजेंड टेन लैक्स वन करोड हंड्रेड करोड राइट एंड दे नो कि ऑफ दिस टेन लैक्स पीपल लेट्स बी फिफ्टी वुड डाई दिस मंथ दिल हैव टू पे फिफ्टी करोर फिफ्टी करोर इज देयर प्रॉफिट You are ready to let go one thousand rupees every month for for that unwanted time, right? So they do their calculation. They make it commercial. So a profit should be there. I hope Ayush, समझ में आई है बात. Now let let's come back to uh, Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana. So what are the key features of Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana? it was launched in february 2006 and is being implemented from kharif 2016 it replaced older scheme national agriculture insurance scheme nais was uh, older scheme national agriculture insurance scheme or uh, modified national agriculture insurance scheme it has replaced them now those schemes do not exist there are other schemes uh, weather based crop insurance scheme and coconut palm insurance scheme inko replace nahi kiya hai they are continuing but their interest rate their premium rate have been made in sync with pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana premium so jo dusre schemes hain they are continuing but they have been bought brought in sync with pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana their uh, premium rates are uh, lower 1.5% 2% and 5% are we are we understanding this okay now improvements over the previous scheme pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana how is it better than previous scheme Term insurance for a particular term like thirty years. If died within thirty years, then you will pay. अरे देखो, आपका जब हम बोल रहे हैं ना कि monthly premium is one thousand rupees. If you stop paying it and declare कि I do not want to be covered by this insurance, तो साल में आपने बारह हजार pay कर दिए ना? In one year you have paid twelve thousand and then you are going out of the scheme. You are not covered anymore. You will be covered till the time you agree to remain part of this. ओके लेट्स कम बैक टू दिस तो हाँ हाउ इज द स्कीम प्रधानमंत्री फसल बीमा योजना बेटर देन द प्रीवियस वन हाइयर लॉसेस कवर्ड फ्रॉम प्री हार्वेस्ट लॉस टू पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट लॉस सिर्फ उस टाइम नहीं जब खेत में अनाज लगा हुआ है इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू सो सीड इवन देन योर लैंड वॉज देयर इट हैज बिकम वेस्टेड अर्न रेंट और अदर एडवांटेजेस यू लॉस सम मनी यू गेट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द सम इंश्योर्ड फॉर प्रिवेंटेड सोइंग so pre harvest losses are also being covered you are not able to put any input in the soil but even then because you have not been able to sow anything because of weather conditions it is covered post harvest losses aapne kheti kar li katai kar li and anaj is kept in the field and then hail storm and flood occurred and everything was lost even this this would be covered this was not the case with previous scheme older schemes pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana is much more wider in this then it expands the definition of disaster 
to include aspects like flooding of crops, damage after harvest, provision of individual farm level assessment is also provided for uh, 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 like let us say landslide occurs and only my field has been affected. Even then insurance would be provided to earlier for regional level damages insurance cover was provided. Now, that regional level damages ke liye insurance cover is there, but also for the local damages it is there. Full coverage, 1 lakh is your output, so 1 lakh cover would be there, there is no limitation ki nahi, only 20,000. So, th thus there is no limit on the premium. If you will say that 1 lakh ka cover hoga, to insurance companies would decide premium, there is no limit on the premium, but for farmers the premium rate is low, for Kharif 2%, for rabi 1.5% and for horticulture or annual commercial crops 5%. Uniform in implementation, districts are allotted to insurance companies on cluster basis. Like one insurance company would be responsible for multiple districts, so there would be uniformity of implementation in there. Now the two approaches are being followed, area approach basis and individual insured farm. I think I have explained this to you. If the damage is in the entire region, let us say drought has come, it has affected the entire region. Then uh, area approach is taken ki in this area how much damage has occurred. Generally 40 percent of crop loss has occurred, so everyone would be given 40 percent compensation. Then there is individual insurance based approach where localized calamities, localized calamity may impact a few lands, so unke liye this would be done. Now subsidy shared between center and state, now they have kept on fighting on, initially it was 50-50, head government is giving subsidy, no. Let us say, let us say uh, they are charging 10 percent, premium is 10 percent and farmer is only paying 2 percent for uh, Kharif, farmer is paying 2 percent for Kharif, right. So, remaining 8 percent, who will pay? 50 percent of it that was to come from center, 50 percent of that was to come from state. This is how the program initially started and after that government has made lots of changes. So, we have not included that, let us not complicate it. Initially, it started with 50-50 provision for quick settlement of claims. Another problem with the older scheme was the older schemes. Kabhi do saal baad, teen saal baad, <laughs> aapka insurance cover aa hai. Now, farmers need it very quickly. If I have faced damages now, pay me now so that I can uh, invest it in the next uh, cycle. So, the older mechanisms where you will get a check two years later or three years later was not helping farmers. The amount that you were getting was also very low. You must have seen these news. Usko do saal baad check aaya, 20 rupay ka. This kind of news used to come. Ab nahi aata, ab sab achcha ho gaya hai desh mein. Ab we don't get. But this kind of news used to come earlier. Right. That was the problem with the older scheme. Delays. Here a number of steps have been taken to ensure that delays do not occur. Insurance companies have been said ki jab aapko data mile itna lost hua, uske within is this much time farmers should be paid money. So, operational guidelines under Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana requires state government to carry out at least four CCEs in every village. What is CCE? Crop cutting experiment. State government will do crop cutting experiment. Through this crop cutting experiment, it will understand how much of loss has occurred. This data would be submitted to insurance companies within a month of the date of harvest. Farmers ne crop harvest kya, uske one month ke andar this data would be submitted to insurance companies. The companies have to settle the claim within three weeks of receiving the CCE data. Are we getting it? So, fast track mechanism has been provided to deal with these problems. Then uh, the uh, in, uh, this, this scheme also said that they will depend, uh, they, they will increasingly depend on technologies, technologies like uh, drones, technologies like mobile phones, technologies like satellite to better assess the losses that may have taken place. Uh, the scheme is implemented through empanel general insurance companies. There would be a number of general insurance companies who will be able to come and bid for the uh, scheme and they, it would be implemented through those. The scheme covers all food and oil seed crops and annual horticulture crops for which past yield data is available. The scheme, Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana and Restructured Weather Based Crop Insurance Scheme were made voluntary for all farmers post its revamp in February 2020. Before February 2020, for farmers who are taking loan, for loanee farmers, farmers who are taking loans, 
वॉट वॉज कंपल्सरी द स्कीम वॉज कंपल्सरी आपको लोन दिया जा रहा है अगर आपको बैंक प्रधानमंत्री फसल बीमा सॉरी लोन दे रही है तो बैंक आपका प्रीमियम कट करके भी इंश्योरेंस कंपनी को दे देगी प्रधानमंत्री फसल बीमा योजना वॉज कंपल्सरी अर्लियर फॉर लोनी फार्मर्स फॉर लोनी फार्मर फार्मर्स हुआ टेकन लोन बट नाउ इट हैज बिन मेड वॉलेंट्री फॉर एवरी वन फेबरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी से इट हैज बिन मेड वॉलेंट्री फॉर एवरी वन देखो दिस इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर प्री मीन्स बट दिस बिकम्स इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर प्री एक स्टेटमेंट आ जाएगा प्रधानमंत्री फसल बीमा योजना के बारे में इट इज कंपल्सरी फॉर ऑल द फार्मर्स टेकिंग लोन यू शुड बी एबल टू से नहीं ऐसा नहीं है राइट बिकॉज इट हैज चेंज एंड बिकॉज यू हैव जस्ट स्टडीड इट यू विल बी एबल टू रिकॉल नो नो इट हैज चेंज अर्लियर इट वॉज कंपल्सरी एंड द एडवांटेज ऑफ अटेंडिंग क्लास इज दिस यूर लिसनिंग टू इट एल्स आपने नोट में रीड करा होता वो निकल जाता and that is why like even for older students what i recommend is ki aap 1.5 or 2 ki speed mein ghar pe chala ke ek bar ye dekh lo stories jab sunte ho na to you are able to recall those things better in the classes uh, in in exam rather than just reading something okay coming back to uh, some other changes which were made in scheme in 2020 voluntary participation to hai सेलेक्शन ऑफ इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज बाई फार्मर्स फॉर थ्री ईयर्स इन अ गो तो बेसिकली स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स को यू चूज इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज बेस्ड ऑन द बिडिंग मैकेनिज्म बट इट शुड बी फॉर थ्री ईयर्स उन्हें लॉन्ग टर्म वो देना चाहिए बिजनेस अदर स्टेप्स टू इम्प्रूव इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ स्कीम दर नेशनल क्रॉप इंश्योरेंस पोर्टल हैज बिन क्रिएटेड हेयर यू कैन पुट इन कंप्लेन हेयर यू कैन ट्रैक ग्रीवेंसेज दो एडवांटेजेस वुड बी देयर अजय रिजल्ट रिजल्ट टेस्ट का एक मिनट ना जयेश तुमने टेस्ट दिया था पक्का कितने मार्क्स आ रहे हैं क्या पता कैलकुलेट नहीं किया एग्जाम के बाद ही सोल्यूशन मिल गया ना तुम्हें इंटरेस्ट ही नहीं है किसमें इंटरेस्ट है एवरीवन एवरीवन इन एवरीवन इन इंडिया नोज कि जयेश का इंटरेस्ट जॉयता में है चलो ठीक है एक और क्वेश्चन है टेस्ट में हाँ बोलो पीएम किसान से रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन है क्या है क्वेश्चन ओनली लिखा है ओनली नहीं लिखा ना हाँ तो ठीक है सही है हाँ देखो फिर से द स्टेटमेंट इज इट सप्लीमेंट्स फाइनेंशियल नीड्स ऑफ स्मॉल एंड मार्जिनल फार्मर्स इज दिस ट्रू यस इट सप्लीमेंट्स फाइनेंशियल नीड ओनली ऑफ स्मॉल एंड मार्जिनल फार्मर्स देन गलत राइट We're getting this. Ah, uh, so what is the scheme? Okay. What what does the scheme want to do? What does the scheme want to do? The scheme wants to provide financial support. Prime Minister Fasal Bima Yojana will it provide financial support? Yes. Stabilize income for farmers. Will it stabilize income? Yes. ऐसे क्या होता? कुछ disaster आता, their income would have become zero or less by twenty percent, less by thirty percent. This scheme ensures that their income remains stable. is it ensuring stability does insurance ensure stability yes promoting adoption of innovative and modern practices now how is insurance promoting adoption of innovative and modern practices as the farmers remain worried if i go for this mechanism will i face losses if i go for zero budget natural farming what if i start losing my harvest here they will be able to go for those methods those mechanisms then Ensuring flow of credit to agri sector. Agriculture sector में ज़्यादा पैसा जा पा रहा है. Flow of credit to agriculture sector. Yes. Why? Understand this. Bank will be more ready to give loan to farmer because bank knows that even if the crop is lost, insurance company will pay the farmer and farmer would pay me. So insurance not only has the first advantage, financial support to farmers in difficult times. It has a number of other advantages also. do we understand this okay economic survey of india kya bol raha hai about the insurance scheme it's saying that as per esi 2020 pm fby is the largest crop insurance scheme in the world in terms of farmer enrollment averaging 5.5 crore application every year and the third largest in terms of premium received so agriculture crop schemes it is among the largest during the last 6 years of its implementation farmers paid a premium of 25000 crore rupees And received 
claim accounting to 1.2 lakh crore rupees. The acceptability of the scheme among farmers can be ascertained from the fact that share of non loony farmers have also increased by 282 percent. Pahle loony farmers ke it was compulsory, so generally most of the farmers were loony farmers, but non loony farmers have also increased by 282 percent since the beginning of scheme in 2016. Fine, these are all the things Economic Survey of India is saying. Now, like where I uh, am uh, criticize Economic Survey of India is this. In 2016-17 when the scheme was launched, aap jab 17, uh, uske baad jo Economic Survey of India tha na, so their number of farmers who were covered by the scheme had increased. Number of farmlands which were covered by the scheme was increased. So they had given kitna percentage increase hua. But after that it started decreasing and Economic Survey of India stopped giving that data. Percentage of farmer cover decrease ho hai, wo wo data dena band kar diya. And now for, for, for a teacher like me, it's difficult to, I'm not, I'm not supposed to go against government or for government or anything, but I need that data now, ki ab kitna percentage of farmers are covered, enrolled under this. So, this is the problem that has occurred. They have portrayed all the data ki ye achha ho gaya, ye achha ho gaya, ye achha ho gaya. But if they could have given data in comparison to past what has happened to, for me teaching would have been better and for us writing way forward would have been better. Because to write way forward we have to identify the problems and then we have to suggest that these are the improvements that has to be made. Are we getting it? Now see, the, even this thing, ki Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana is the largest crop insurance scheme in the world. Fine, but the right evaluation would be that Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana has been able to ensure that highest number of farmers anywhere in the world are being covered. Because kya hai? Koi or scheme, let's say, let's say we go to US or let's say we go to some other country where agri insurance is doing better, but there are many private companies which are running agri insurance and farmers are taking it. So their agri insurance initiative is much better than what we have because here there, there's a single scheme and crores of farmers can be covered by it. We can say that this is the largest insurance scheme, but is this the most effective way? So again, presenting data in a way which is just showing, uh, what do you say, bright pictures, economists ke liye ya padhane walo ke liye thodi si chijo ko difficult kar de. Fine, I, I hope, I hope aap logo ko thoda wo clarity mil raha and governments generally tend to do this, ki hum uh, sab kuch achha chal raha. Now, let's come back to uh, ne next initiative, Mission for Integrated Development of Horticulture. Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana, samaj mein aya? You go to 2017-18 Economic Survey of India and you will see that we are proudly presenting, look at the percentage of farmers who were covered earlier and look at the percentage now. Now, under Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana, percentage of farmers who are being covered have increased. But then Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana had some limitations, some problems. So, next year, farmers or next to next year, farmers started going down. And since then, they stopped giving this percentage wala data, which is which is which is the problem. Now, let's come to mission for integrated development of horticulture. Horticulture, do we understand? Development of horticulture. This so before this scheme was launched in 2014-15, there were a number of horticulture related. Amrit Sharma is saying, sir, term insurance is for a particular term like 30 years. If you die within 30 years, then you will be paid. Yes, that is true. But if the term insurance premium is 1000 rupees a month, so every month you will pay 1000 rupees. If you stop paying that, thus you no more remain part of the insurance. And thus, if you insurance, you will be paid. I have to pay 1000 rupees. And if I die anywhere in next 30 years, my family would be given 1 crore rupees. It is not that. Are you getting what I am trying to say? You have to be continuously remain part of this insurance. Now, let us come back to, uh, so, uh, before uh, this, this scheme was launched, uh, there were a number of horticulture related schemes. National Horticulture Mission, Horticulture Mission for Northeast in, and Himalayas, National Horticulture Board, Coconut Development Board. Central Institute for Horticulture, National Bamboo Mission, they have all been subsumed under Mission for Integrated Development of Horticulture. Now, integrated. 
let's bring all of them together mission for integrated development of 40 sectors are we getting this are we understanding this okay so this was introduced in 2014 15 yahan pe bhi some of the methods that uh, we can so it introduced improved varieties and quality of seed can we understand ki why with better quality of seed we will be able to produce more in horticulture sector incentives for plantation crops cluster development do we understand the idea of cluster development yes and post harvest management pe bhi uh, there were there was emphasis storage transportation and all according to third advanced estimates of 2021 say 2021 22 ka jo agriculture output hai you keep getting more and more data and with that you update your data so third estimate is the third estimate of what happened in 2021 22 as per that there was 342 million tons of horticulture production in the country itna hi roughly food grains ka hai but generally we forget this ki other than food grains jitna hamare desh mein food grains produce ho raha hai almost utna or slightly zyada is the production of horticulture fruits and all those stuff okay the government has identified 50 horticulture 55 horticulture clusters of which 12 12 have been selected for a cluster development program the program is designed to leverage the geographical specialization of horticulture clusters and promote integrated market led development of pre production let's come to enam enam is another initiative that has been discussed in the discussed in the economic survey of india enam to understand enam thoda na we have to know a basic some basics of apmc abhi we will not cover it in detail because economic survey of india has not covered it but briefly how the mandi system apmc mandi system works let's understand it briefly what happens is earlier when apmc mandi system was not there farmers were being exploited by traders farmers apna crop harvest karte the trader used to buy it at very low prices and then they will supply it in the market at very high prices so farmers used to be cheated farmers uh, uh, used to get very less money so what government created it created the apmc system so various state governments have their apmc act where these mandis apmc mandis have been created in states within the state and farmers are now supposed to go and sell their products in these apmc mandis in these apmc mandis there would be traders who will be registered in this apmc mandi and they will buy products on the basis of bidding तो पहले आपके खेत पे एक ट्रेडर पहुंच जाता था एंड द ट्रेडर वुड हैव सेड आई गिव यू टेन रुपीज पर के जी गिव इट टू मी एंड वो थोड़े लठेतों के साथ आएगा मुझे ही दोगे नहीं तो पीटूंगा थिंक ऑफ द ओल्डर टाइम्स दर वॉज नो ऑप्शन फॉर द स्मॉल एंड मार्ग एंड दिस फार्मर में ऑल्सो हैव टेकन मनी फ्रॉम दिस ट्रेडर दिस ट्रेडर में ऑल्सो हैव बिन द मनी लेंडर तो और दबाव में right so to solve that to deal with those problems the apmc mandi system was brought under apmc mandi system there would be traders who will be giving license who will be working in this apmc mandi and farmers can go to this apmc mandi and sell their product but while selling the product there would be bidding trader one trader would say i'll give you 10 rupees per kg other one would say i'll give you 10.5 rupees per kg the next one i'll give you 10.6 rupees per kg so in this way farmers are supposed to get the best this was the apmc mandi system but over the years we have seen that apmc mandi system is also full of problems jaise yahan pe what is happening cartelization these traders only these traders who have license for this mandi can participate in the bidding process can trade here now what happens is they all decide a day before bhai gehu 10 rupees se zyada pe nahi khareedna no one would bid beyond that else sabka nuksan hoga cartel bana le cartelization and farmers are still getting lower prices farmers are still and then these traders are taking this product let's say they are they 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 are they are buying uh, wheat they are taking this product to uh, market and selling it at higher prices so farmers are getting low prices customers are paying high prices and the intermediaries are enjoying all the benefits so various reforms in the apmc system has been suggested over the years one such reform is enam 
है ना बाकी रिफॉर्म्स अभी नहीं पढ़ेंगे बिकॉज विल विल स्टडी ए पी एम सी इन एज एव सेट की विल कवर एग्रीकल्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एक्सेट्रा इन मोर डिटेल्स इन आर करेंट अफेयर क्लासेस तो देर विल स्टडी ऑल अदर स्टेप्स विच हैव बिन टेकन जैसे अभी द थ्री फार्म लॉज विच हैड बिन ब्रॉट दे वर ऑल्सो फोकस्ड ऑन रिफॉर्मिंग आर ए पी एम सी सिस्टम ए पी एम सी मंडी सिस्टम विल टॉक अबाउट द थ्री फार्म लॉज ऑल्सो बट बिकॉज अगेन इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया इज नॉट डिस्कसिंग इट फॉर नाउ वे आर नॉट डिस्कसिंग इट नाउ कम टू ई नैम वॉट इज ई नैम ई नैम में ई नैम इन अ वे इज अलेक्ट्रॉनिक ट्रेडिंग पोर्टल सो टिल नाउ वॉट वॉज हैपनिंग वेन फार्मर वॉज बिंगिंग क्रॉप टू दिस मंडी दीज ट्रेडर्स हु हैड लाइसेंस इन दिस मंडी कुड बिड फॉर द प्रोडक्ट नाउ दिस वॉज नॉट ओनली हार्मफुल फॉर द seller the farmer why because farmer was not getting the right price this was not only harmful for the farmers but it was also harmful for some other trader who was in some other state who is not registered in that mandi because to get license for a man, in a mandi you have to have a physical office there this was also difficult for someone like uh, let's say wo uh, reliance ki sabzi ki dukan ko kya bolte hain रिलायंस फ्रेश रिलायंस फ्रेश दे वॉन्ट टू प्रोकर अ लॉट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट अब एवरी मंडी में दिल हैव लिमिटेड प्रोडक्ट तो दे शुड भी एबल टू बाई फ्रॉम मल्टीपल मंडीज वो कंफ्यूजन फूड प्रोसेसर है ना मेरा बिजनेस चिप्स बनाने का आई हैव टू बाई अ लॉट ऑफ आलू बट इन वन मंडी आई मे नॉट बी एबल टू गेट इट तो आई हैव टू बाई इट फ्रॉम मल्टीपल मंडीज बट इट वॉज प्रॉब्लमैटिक राइट अच्छा मैंने ये अनाउंस नहीं किया था आ, टेस्ट में जो लोग सबसे खराब करेंगे दस लोग वो दस लोग कल मुझसे आके मिलेंगे हाँ अच्छा आपने आज ही बोला हुआ था कल आ, थोड़ा सा टाइम लेके हम लोग सब बैठते हैं कि क्यों खराब हुआ वी वुड वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड वी वुड वर्क ऑन इट व्हाट आई वांट इज कि दिस ईयर नो वट हैज हैपन मैंने प्रोग्राम थोड़ा जल्दी शुरू कर दिया था एंड आई डो नॉट हैव अदर प्रेशर तो मैं पूरे टाइम पढ़ाई कर रहा हूँ तो आई विल हैव सम टाइम आई वॉन्ट टू इन्श्योर दैट I give time to all the students जो अच्छा नहीं कर पा रहे हैं उनको भी क्योंकि ना clearing preliminary examination is not very difficult आपको अभी अगर खराब भी कर रहे हो ना कोई बात नहीं February March April May चार महीने हैं चार महीने में किया जा सकता है पढ़ाई बस थोड़ा systematically अच्छे से चलना हो ठीक है तो the टेन people the टेन people who score the least हमसे आके मिलेंगे हम मैं खुद ही कॉल कर लूंगा आप लोगों को मेरे पास सबके अब सबने एडमिशन तो ले रखा होगा <laughs> सबने एडमिशन एडमिशन ले रखा है ना तो सबके ईमेल आईडी फोन नंबर हमारे पास होंगे आई आई गिव यू अ कॉल एंड टेन पीपल हु टॉप मेरे साथ डिनर करने चल सकते हैं तो दसों लोग मिलके डिसाइड कर लेना कब जाना है आई एल टेक यू फॉर डिनर वहाँ भी पढ़ाई की बातें कर लेंगे बीच वाले ऊपर जाओ या नीचे आओ बीच वाले ब्रेकफास्ट मेरा डिनर का मतलब था ब्रेकफास्ट लंच डिनर इट कुड बी एनीथिंग ठीक है अब बोलो सर स्नैक्स सर फ्रूट चाट बीच क्लास में चाय ना ना एक बार एक बार क्या हुआ क्या पेंडिंग फर्स्ट जनवरी से ट्रीट पेंडिंग है मैंने बोला ना लेवल अप को ब्रेक इवन हो जाए दो इस साल तब ट्रीट मिलेगी ये बोला था हाँ मार्च थर्टी फर्स्ट तक वेट करना पड़ेगा हाँ अरे रिजल्ट आ गया लाओ लाओ दो दे दो कितने बच्चों का है सबने सबमिट किया सेवेंटी सेवन नहीं बच्चे तो ज्यादा थे बच्चे इतने ही थे ना ना मैं आई काउंटेड एटी फाइव बच्चे ऑफलाइन टेस्ट दिए हैं अच्छा शुभम पाटिल कौन है कुछ शुभम पाटिल तो बता दो अच्छा किया है भाई फोर्थ रैंक है आई डो नॉट नो शुभम पाटिल तो कोई है भी नहीं क्लास में नहीं ऑनलाइन वालों का ऑनलाइन वालों के मार्क्स नहीं है ना इसमें तो द टॉपर्स आर नीरव निधि क्षितिज शुभम आयुष गौरव आदित्य आकाश अर्शनूर एंड साहिल हाईएस्ट कोर इज वन 
एंड जो टॉप टेन में जो लास्ट स्कोर है दैट इज वन फोर्टीन वन वन फोर ठीक है बट कोश मतलब बिकॉज एवरी थिंग वॉज फ्रॉम नोट थोड़े से ज्यादा आ सकते थे है ना नीरव नीरव आपको क्या नीरव मोदी आप ही हो अच्छा तुम्हारे नाम में तो नीरव एम बी है नाइस nice. तुम तो पी एम पी में भी हो ना ओके गुड गुड बाकियों को तो मैं जानता हूँ हाँ बाकियों को सबको जानता हूँ नीचे वाले लोग मैं नाम नहीं ले रहा हूँ तुम्हारा यूट्यूब पे हाँ ये वीडियो यूट्यूब पे भी है ये नयन बोल रहे हैं सर ऑनलाइन वाले टॉपर्स को स्विगी कर दो ऑनलाइन वाले टॉपर कैसे टेस्ट दे रहे मुझे क्या पता है ना स्विगी करने लग जाऊंगा तो अगली बार से आप सब लोग भी जाके ऑनलाइन सोल्यूशन देखने के बाद टेस्ट दे दोगे ठीक है ऑनलाइन वाला ऑनलाइन वालों के लिए अभी कुछ नहीं कर सकते ठीक है अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस है लाइक देर आर देर आर सिक्सटीन स्टूडेंट्स सेवनटीन स्टूडेंट्स हुआ स्कोर्ड अबाउ हंड्रेड है ना कोशिश करो वी रिमेन अबाउ हंड्रेड कोशिश ये करनी है कि वर्स्ट केस में टॉप ट्वेंटी परसेंट आइल में रहें देखो स्कोर इज नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट स्कोर इज नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इफ द पेपर इज ईजी यू मे गेट वन फिफ्टी वन सिक्सटी इफ द पेपर इज डिफिकल्ट यू मे गेट सेवेंटी एटी तो डोंट वरी अबाउट स्कोर वरी अबाउट परसेंटाइल है ना आप टॉप ट्वेंटी परसेंट बच्चों में रहिए है ना प्रेफरेबली तो रैंक वन पे रहिए पर सब नहीं रह पाएंगे ट्राई टू बी इन टॉप ट्वेंटी परसेंट बच्चे और जो खराब कर रहे हैं प्लीज कम एंड टॉक टू मी नो मतलब बड़ा भाई हूँ मैं आप लोगों का कोई भी दिक्कत होगी कैसे भी होगा विल टॉक अबाउट इट विल मैनेज कि हाउ थिंग्स कुड बी इम्प्रूव ओके तुम्हारे कितने मार्क्स हैं संजू मेरा भाई है संजू कितने मार्क्स हैं तेरे पता नहीं ये तो नाम कहा है ऊपर से तो नहीं है नीचे से देखूं नीचे से इतनी जल्दी मिल गई बट यू आर ऑल्सो इन पीएमपी ना फिर कैसे कम नंबर आए तेरे वहां तो अच्छा करती हो न लाइक चलो तुमसे बात करते हैं ऐसा कैसे हो गया जिसको मैं भाई बहन बोलता हूँ उसको ज्यादा अच्छा करना होता है प्रेशर ज्यादा है ऐसे नहीं चलेगा ओके okay, चलिए तो आ, जिन बच्चों के कम मार्क्स आ रहे हैं प्लीज आइए हम समझना चाहेंगे क्यों कम मार्क्स आ रहे हैं एंड हाउ कैन वी इम्प्रूव है ना वॉट आई वॉन्ट इज कि ज्यादा से ज्यादा बच्चे प्री क्लियर करें और प्री क्लियर करना पॉसिबल है प्री क्लियर करने में ना ज्यादा कॉम्प्लिकेशन नहीं होती वो उन लोगों के लिए डिफिकल्ट है जो ट्रेडिशनल मेथड्स फॉलो करते हैं जो ऊपर ऊपर से चीजों को पढ़ के चले जाते हैं और फिर वहां पर तुक्के मारते हैं तो उन पर अनप्रडिक्टेबिलिटी आएगी वी will learn how to solve mcqs by tricks also but we also as as i told you on the very first day ki hamara focus hai ki hum sabse zyada padhke bhi jayenge we lose all the tricks and everything but we will also be the best prepared student hum itna acche se padhke jayenge ki agar koi question nahi aa raha hai to wo kisi ko nahi aa raha and i have sat with around मेरे ख्याल से 30-40 बच्चों के साथ तो मैं बैठ चुका हूँ उनका पेपर लेके इस साल का प्री का एंड इन ऑल ऑफ दो स्टूडेंट्स देर वॉज नॉट अ सिंगल एक्सेप्शन द प्रॉब्लम वॉज नॉट विद डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन तो करने ही नहीं मतलब उससे फर्क पड़ता है प्रॉब्लम वॉज विद वेरी ईजी बेसिक क्वेश्चन अगर आप बहुत ईजी बेसिक क्वेश्चन जो आ रहे हैं वो गलत करके आओगे जो क्वेश्चन आपको नोट्स में क्लास में कवर करके दिया है वो गलत करके आओगे तब सिलेक्शन नहीं होगा सिलेक्शन वुड नॉट बी डिटरमाइंड बाई कुछ रैंडमली कुछ पूछ लिया जिस टर्म के बारे में आधी जनता को पता भी नहीं है इट विल नॉट डिटरमाइन सम 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 हिस्ट्री हिस्टोरिकल फैक्ट विच इज गिवन इन सम रैंडम बुक ओनली जैसे शेखर बंदोपाध्याय में लिखा हुआ है इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू डिटरमाइन योर सिलेक्शन कोई हिस्टोरिकल फैक्ट एनसीआर में लिखा हुआ है तब भी नहीं कर पा रहे हो इट विल अफेक्ट योर सिलेक्शन राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस ईयर क्वेश्चन केम ऑन मॉरन इंस्क्रिप्शन साइट अब धौली जोगोड़ा उड़ीसा में है ये नहीं पता अगर तो सिलेक्शन वुड गेट अफेक्टेड बिकॉज एवरी वन हैज एवरी वन रीड्स एन सी आर टी और आर एस शर्मा उन पर मैप बना है मैप में उड़ीसा में धौली जोगोड़ा करके मेजर इंस्क्रिप्शन साइट दिए हुए हैं आपके बुक में चार बार वो नाम दिया हुआ है एंड देन यू आर लाइक अरे ये तो मैप का क्वेश्चन पूछ लिया अरे मैप का नहीं था हिस्ट्री का बेसिक क्वेश्चन था वो नहीं करोगे ना तो गड़बड़ जो चीज क्लास में कराई हुई है 
आई आई सॉ स्टूडेंट्स इन्होंने वो भी क्वेश्चन गलत किया कि इनमें से कौन एसिड रेन कॉज करेगा नॉट ओनली हैड वी कवर्ड इन द क्लास इन द पास्ट ईयर क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो वी हैड कवर्ड इट इन आर टी अब वो गलत करोगे ना तो फिर क्या होगा रिस्की रहेगा डब्ल्यू एच ओ का एयर क्वालिटी वाला डिफिकल्ट था क्वेश्चन आई एग्री बट वी हैड डन दैट टॉपिक इन क्लास वी हैड डन एम सी क्यूज ऑन दैट एंड उसके बाद भी गलत कर दोगे तो यार एक तो सर ने पढ़ाया भी ऊपर से सर ने उस पर क्वेश्चन भी बनाया ये समझ के कि ये इंपॉर्टेंट है और आप फिर भी इग्नोर कर रहे हो तो आपको एग्जाम थोड़ा सा इग्नोर करेगा ना राइट तो डू नॉट वरी इफ द स्कोर इज लेस देर इज एम्पल टाइम फॉर इंप्रूवमेंट दिस इज लॉट ऑफ टाइम फॉर इंप्रूवमेंट Fine. बस आके बात करिए वी विल वी विल फाइंड अ वे अपनी प्रिपरेशन को अच्छा करने के लिए ठीक है और तुम तो मुझे अपना स्कोर बताना चलिए वॉट वर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट ई नाम तो ई नाम में वी वर सेंग कि डिड वी डिड वी अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम विद द ओल्डर सिस्टम तो बिग बायर्स आर ऑल्सो फेसिंग प्रॉब्लम सेलर्स आर ऑल्सो गेटिंग कार्टेलाइज ई नाम एक ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म has which has uh, which has been created by government which is allowing this seller to showcase the product i'm 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 bringing let's say mangoes i'll be able to showcase my product not only in front of these traders but all the traders in different mandi through the online portal did we get it so here in this mandi the business is taking place and uh, uh, the the trader from some other mandi some other state may be able to buy it right so there has to be changes liberalization in what there has to be changes liberalization in the licensing policy kis trader ko license mila hai abhi tak to rule ye bolta tha na ki only those traders who are present here would be get would get license to trade here right but now this change would occur so for enam to be implemented uh, state governments were asked ki you bring changes in your apmc laws accordingly why because only when you will bring those changes this kind of trade would be possible so apmc uh, uh, enams are basically national agriculture market electronic national agriculture market online platform through which this people would be able to showcase their product in front of more traders and traders from any part of let's say ये एपीएमसी मंडी केरला का है ट्रेडर्स फ्रॉम हेयर वुड बी एबल टू बाई प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम लेट से दिस इज एन एपीएमसी मंडी इन पंजाब अच्छा केरला में तो है ही नहीं रुक जाओ तमिलनाडु केरला केरला में दे नेवर केम विद द एपीएमसी मंडी सिस्टम बिहार में दे डिड अवे विद लाइक नीतीश कुमार जैसे ही सीएम बने थे दे डिड अवे विद द सिस्टम ऑफ एपीएमसी ओके वी विल स्टडी अबाउट दोस थिंग्स बट लेट से अ ट्रेडर फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु इज एबल टू बाय from uh, a seller in uh, punjab raghav kumar is saying sir will tell you address swiggy kariye hyderabad mein bawarchi biryani chalega sapne bahut hai but i miss bawarchi biryani yaar i i was in hyderabad and i miss hyderabad देखो आई लिव इन मुंबई आई लिव इन आई बिन टू पुणे ऑन अ नंबर ऑफ ओकेजन मैं चेन्नई गया हूँ मैं बैंगलोर गया हूँ मैं हैदराबाद में रहा हूँ द बेस्ट मैं दिल्ली में तो रह ही रहा हूँ द बेस्ट सिटी टू लिव वॉज हैदराबाद इसका मराठी मानूस जाग गया मुंबई द बेस्ट सिटी टू लिव वॉज हैदराबाद फॉर अ नंबर ऑफ रीजन जैसे ना फॉर्चुनेटली मेरे लिए क्या था ट्रैवलिंग वॉज वेरी इजी दो माय ऑफिस वॉज एट किलोमीटर अवे इट यूज टू टेक टेन मिनट मुंबई में कितना लगेगा एट किलोमीटर का वन आवर ना काम चल रहा है ना उस उससे पहले भी उससे सेम वॉज द केस इन बैंगलोर है ना दैट वॉज वन थिंग देन लैंग्वेज इन हैदराबाद नो पीपल कुड स्पीक हिंदी बिकॉज हैदराबादी उर्दू चलता है वहाँ पे तो पीपल कुड स्पीक हिंदी तो लैंग्वेज विद एनी वन विद दटो वाला और विद एनी वन वॉज नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम एट ऑल एंड देन हैदराबाद ऑल्सो हैज दिस ब्यूटिफुल कल्चर they do not disrespect outsiders they value them aap mein se kabhi agar koi hyderabad gaya hoga to you would not have faced this problem ki you are not a telugu ye ye discrimination nahi hota hai which somehow happens in other cities 
Bangalore may you will see this, Chennai may you will see this, Mumbai may you will see this. Second best is Pune. Pune is also a very, very, very good. Koi Pune se hai? Hai Pune wale. Pune uh, is haan, one of the best cities like you would want to settle down there. Jaysay, aapko agar shahar mein rehna hai na, you would want to settle down. As this is my, my, my behavior. Well, my perception, you may have different perception. Ye Mumbai wala mujhe maarega. Yaar, tum aisa kaise bol sakte ho? Nii, mein. Thik na? कुछ डिफिकल्टीज थी मुंबई में मुंबई में मैं बता रहा हूँ तो वो प्रॉब्लम थी तो हैदराबाद इज द मुंबई इज ऑल्सो गेट सिटी एक्सीलेंट सिटी दिल्ली से तो बहुत अच्छा पता लगे बाहर निकला मुझे मारे सर वर्स्ट वन इज मैं बोलूंगा नहीं प्लस चीप रेंट अच्छा हाँ हैदराबाद में रेंट वगैरह भी सस्ता था राइट राइट हाँ एंड फूड Food was fantastic. Some vegetarian or? अच्छा ये बोल रहा है हैदराबाद vegetarians को अच्छा नहीं लगेगा ऐसा ना ना what don't you get in Hyderabad vegetarians के लिए तो क्या नहीं मिलता तुम्हें अभी It's very stunning. Hyderabad is the best. Chali. Uh, let's come. Enam. Uh, did we understand the basic ideas of Enam? Let's quickly go through. Uh, Enam is a pan-India electronic trading portal which has unified the national market. Pehle national market was distributed. It has unified that by integrating existing APMC markets and other market yards. It was launched in April 2016. Uh, the Enam project is being implemented by Small Farmers Agri Business Consortium. Ye pre ke liye facts yaad rakhna hai. SFEC, the body which is responsible for implementing this online project, it is Small Farmers Agribusiness Consortium. The port portal will provide a single window service for all APMC related services and information such as commodity arrival, prices, provision of responding to trade offers, buy and sell trade offers, among other things. Under ENAM, the government provides free software and one time assistance of 75 lakh rupees per Monday for computer hardware and IT infrastructure. Note this. And now APMC Monday, if they have to get integrated to ENAM, so online trading and uh, showcasing your product, all those things need to happen. So you have to create IT infrastructure, you have to bring computers and all. So pe government provides you this 75 lakh rupees support. The hardware includes uh, quality assaying equipment, creation of infrastructure for cleaning, grading and so on. There are some other features. It's a national market. It enables farmers to showcase their produce throughout the country. It facilitates traders from anywhere in the country to quote, to bid for the product here. Licensing is liberal of traders and buyers as well and commission agents by state authorities. There is no precondition for physical presence. In the older APMC Mandi, physical presence is a precondition here that's not needed. One license for the trader would be valid all across the country. APMC, ENAM, when you trade, kar rahe ho, to it's not like for every APMC Mandi, you will need separate license. One license would be valid. Single point levy of the market fee that is on the first wholesale purchase from the farmer. So, Earlier, when product was bought by farmer, then it was sold in another APMC Mandi and another APMC Mandi. So, multiple levels pe aapko fees dena padta tha. Now, that would not be the case. Harmonizing of quality standards of agri produce. Now, what is this issue of harmonizing of quality standards of agri produce? See, when a trader is here in the Mandi and let us say a uh, farmer brings the product. So, a trader can verify the quality of the product. is quality I will pay this much money for it. But now think of the trader is in Kerala, Tamil Nadu and the farmer has brought the, brought the product in Punjab. So online you cannot verify the quality as clearly as you would have verified the quality when you are physically present. So there has to be a grading system. This is product of grade A, grade B, grade C, grade D and this standardization has to be uniform throughout the country. Agar uh, Tamil Nadu mein the categorization is A plus A, B plus B. Mere ko apne credit se aada gai college se. And, 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 uh, 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 Punjab mein categorization is 5 star, 4 star, 3 star. There would be confusion. So, here they are talking about harmonizing the quality standard of agri produce. Enam is also doing that. Quality standard ko harmonize karna matlab uniformity lana in the quality standard. This is also being done by Enam. States desirous to join has to accordingly enact suitable provisions in their APMC Act. This is, this is also something that I have explained. States can have their own electronic platform and can decide to link them to NAM also. 
these are some of the advantages of enam so enam is another initiative that has been briefly discussed in economic survey of india maine usko pura hi samjha diya hai enam ko now a progress as of december 2022 Uh, 1260 mandis of 22 states and 3 union territories have been integrated on enam more than 1.73 crore farmers and more than 2.26 lakh traders have been registered on the enam plat platform trading parameters of 193 agriculture and horticulture commodities such as cereals cereals pulses oil seeds fruits etc have been provided fpo trading module is there there are a number of other initiatives ye sab na economic survey of india mein nahi tha but recently i had covered kurukshetra jisme enam tha detail mein तो आई हेड इंक्लूडेड ऑल दीज अपडेट फ्रॉम देयर तो इसे एक बार आप रीड करेंगे ओके आई हेव ऑलरेडी इन द प्रीवियस बैचेस आई हेव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड इट इन डिटेल्स नाउ एडवांटेजेस फॉर बायर्स आल्सो देयर आर एडवांटेजेस फॉर कंज्यूमर्स आल्सो देयर आर एडवांटेजेस फॉर एंड एंड कंज्यूमर्स लाइक अस देयर आर एडवांटेजेस फॉर सेलर्स आल्सो देयर सेलर्स के लिए दे विल हैव मोर ऑप्शन दे विल बी एबल टू गेट राइट प्राइस बायर्स बायर्स के लिए भी देयर इज एडवांटेज दे विल बी एबल टू बाय फ्रॉम मल्टीपल सेलर्स right i may get the right price from a farmer in punjab rather than from a farmer in karnataka hai na so i'll buy it from the farmer in punjab i'll under, understand ki transportation cost itna hoga wo sari cheeze i'll have more option and eventually all these things would lead to low prices for end user if trader ko saste mein mil pa raha hai buyer ko uh, uh, farmers ko bhi right price mil pa raha hai to eventually we will also benefit so these are uh, various advantages then uh, even the mandis would have various advantages why देखो मंडी में मंडी फी लगता है तो जो मंडी अच्छा काम कर रहा हो द मंडी विच इज वर्किंग वेल मोर फार्मर्स वुड बी सेलिंग देयर प्रोडक्ट देयर मोर ट्रेडर्स वुड बी बाइंग प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम दैट मंडी ऑनलाइन दे विल बी गेटिंग मोर फी सो मंडी इनकम में आल्सो गो अप ऑफ द वेल परफॉर्मिंग मंडी वेर एज पुअरली परफॉर्मिंग मंडीज वुड सफर इन दिस लेट्स ना यू गो टू मिलेट 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 is a general term for products like give me give me some name of the products bajra ragi and jowar these ye to teenon mujhe bhi pata the apne states ke kuch millets batao buckwheat angrezi nahi bhaiya hindi wala kuttu ka kuttu kuttu ka aata bol rahe ho to matlab bajre ka aata bajra kuttu and any other any other millet from your state kodu ye kya hota hai अच्छा ओके ओके तो देर आर मेनी ऑफ दीज कोर्स ग्रीन मिलेट नाउ ओवर द इयर्स व्हाट हैपन इंडिया में ट्रेडिशनली अ लॉट ऑफ मिलेट वाज ग्रोन एंड अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल डिपेंडेंट ऑन मिलेट व्हेन वी व्हेन यू वुड स्टडी अबाउट व्हेन यू वुड स्टडी अबाउट न्यूलिथिक पीरियड बिगिनिंग ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर जब आप बिगिनिंग ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर की बात करोगे तो इफ यू गो टू इंडिया में इंडिया में ओल्डेस्ट न्यूलिथिक साइट मेहरगढ़ मेहरगढ़ है अच्छा इंडिया में मतलब अरे अखंड भारत <laughs> तब इंडिया है कब तक लड़ेंगे तब इंडिया है है ना जब तक अक, हाँ वही अखंड भारत वो इंडिया ही है अरे पिछले साठ सत्तर साल में अलग रहे हुए ना इससे पहले तो सब इंडिया ही था तो एग्जाम में मत बोल देना ये <laughs> तो ये मेहरगढ़ राइट मेहरगढ़ में कौन सा क्रॉप मिला था वीट 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 वाज़ द प्राइमरी थिंग दैट वी स्टार्टेड विद वेर एस इफ यू कम टू न्यूलिथिक साइट्स ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश राइस है ना गिव मी सम नेम्स ऑफ न्यूलिथिक साइट्स ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश बेलन वैली ओके और कौन सा कोल्डी हावा एंड एंड आप लोग पढ़ नहीं रहे हिस्ट्री लग रहा है हिस्ट्री का भी आर टी लेना पड़ेगा तो मुझे ही लेना पड़ेगा है? नहीं नहीं ऐसा कुछ कमिटमेंट नहीं ये ये गलत बात निकले मेरे मुंह से मुझे <laughs> मुझे ना तो आप लोग गाली देने लगते हो बाद में तो आपने बोला था हिस्ट्री करेंगे मैं बिल्कुल नहीं बोल रहा नहीं इफ यू गो टू साउथ इंडियन न्यूलिथिक साइट आप वहां पर देखोगे कि इन अर्लीस्ट साइट और इवन दी लेट से वो वाले साइट क्या बोलते होंगे मेगालिथिक साइट देर आर फाइंडिंग्स ऑफ रगी जो आर दीज क्रॉप तो जो ड्राई रीजन्स होते हैं ना वहां पे मिलेट्स आर 
millets can more naturally be found, more naturally be grown. For wheat and rice, you need lot of irrigation, lot of water. For dry conditions, millets are good. But kya hua? Uh, because because uh, our food habits may be thoda westernization aara tha. So hum jada softer texture wale food grains ki taraf chale gaye. Like for people who used to consume bajre ki roti, they thought having wheat roti was more elite. Consuming rice was more elite. If you go to like my hometown Bhivadi, 30 years back, uh, most of the local locals of the place were consuming bajra, bajre ka roti. But eventually they have also moved to wheat. They have also moved to, they are moving to rice. So the millet consumption, millet's significance in India's food habits reduced. But with more studies, more advancement, in uh, more research and development, it has now been realized that millets are much more healthy than, than wheat or rice. They have much balanced amount of nutrients and thus they are also being considered superfood. Or ab aap jab healthy diet ki baat karte ho, to usme millet, ragi or ragi or bajra or these are the components that we generally add to. Jaysay dalia consumption has increased in recent years because of the understanding that it is very healthy for us. And these components are there in it. So, we have to, in order to fight uh, the health problems that we are facing, millets can be very important. Further, in order to fight environmental problems, environmental problems because of overconsumption of water. Why overconsumption of water is happening? 80% of our water goes where? Irrigation, agriculture. Because we are unnecessarily growing wheat, rice, jahan zarurat nahi hai. Bajra, ragi, these things could have been consumed. These things could have been go grown at a much cheaper cost with much lesser resources even in, even in dry conditions. So now we have realized that and now various steps are being taken to various steps have been taken to deal with these problems. Okay. So various steps have been taken to promote uh, more consumption, more production of millet. So United Nations General Assembly in 2021 had declared 2023 as the international year of millet. So 2023 is the international year of millet. Yahan pe awareness generation related to the advantages of millets are being promoted. Economic Survey of India or budget jaise hi khatam hota hai na to mera yojana ka series beech mein ruk gaya because of ESI and budget. Usme bhi ek millets pe pura yojana aaya hua hai. We will we will also cover that. Yojana in Kurukshetra would not stop. It would continue just because of uh, the work pressure. I couldn't do it. So jo bhi pending ho raha hai. November December we had discussed January wala I will discuss. Yojana Kurukshetra we would continue. Okay, so coming back to uh, this year, 2023 is the international year of millet. Uh, millet, yeah, here they are talking about the advantages. So millets are smart food with high nutrition and are climate resilient. Do we understand climate resilient? Drought condition, may, dry conditions, may they can survive and they align with several UN SDG goals. Poverty reduction, healthy food, those are things may play a role. These are, uh, there is also, they are also important by virtue of their mammoth potential to generate livelihood, increase farmers income and ensure food and nutritional security all over the world. Dekho, Bajra and all these things, their demand all over the world is in, increasing. Because people have realized it potential, people have realized it significance. And thus farmers who used to get less money for Bajra or Ragi when compared to Gehu or rice, they will be able to fetch much more. They will be able to increase their income with less resources with less environmental damage. This is what the statement is talking about. So India produces 50.9 million tons of millet. Millet, all the millet, Jawar, Bajra, Ragi, Kutu and all those millets together, India produces around 50.9 million tons, one seventh of our food grain production. Around 350 million tons is our food grain production. Wheat, rice, we 200 million ton, hai. then this comes which is 80% of Asia's production. In entire Asia, 80% of millets are being produced in India and 20% of the uh, global production. 
द ग्लोबल एवरेज ईल्ड ऑफ मिलेट इज ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी नाइन पर के जी एंड इंडिया का ईल्ड भी रफली सिमिलर है ट्वेल्व थर्टी नाइन पर के जी इन इंडिया मिलेट आर प्राइमरली आर खरीफ क्रॉप एंड आर मोस्टली ग्रोन इन रेन फेड कंडीशन रिक्वायरिंग लेस वाटर एंड एग्रीकल्चर इनपुट देन अदर स्टेपल क्रॉप द ड्राई पेनसुलर रीजन में वो ग्रो होता है मिलेट राजस्थान में मिलेट आई वॉज टेलिंग यू कि आज से तीस साल पहले वेन भिवाड़ी एज अ टाउन वॉज नॉट डेवलप इट वॉज अ स्मॉलर एरिया तो मोर पीपल मोर लोकल्स देयर जैसे भिवाड़ी द माई होम टाउन इज अ विलेज ऑफ गुजर कम्युनिटी तो देर वॉज मोर कंजम्पन ऑफ बाजरा इवन नाउ इवन नाउ दे कंज्यूम बाजरा बट दैट कंजम्पन इज स्लाइटली गोइंग डाउन द परसेप्शन की बाजरा इज एन इंपीरियर फूड ग्रेन वो कहीं ना कहीं जबरदस्ती का आ गया वेरस इट्स हेल्थियर नाउ इन अर्बन एरियाज पीपल आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स मल्टी ग्रेन आटा इन मल्टी ग्रेन आटा वॉट आर दे डूइंग दे आर adding like with along with wheat they are adding atta of other such millet so we have to spread that awareness to uh, actually reach millet reach its full potential so given the uh, nutritional value of the millet the government notified millet as the nutri cereals in 2018 under the national food security mission also millets have been introduced to provide nutritional support coarse grain milta hai national food. so you get uh, rice at 3 rupees per kg wheat at 2 rupees per kg and coarse grain at 1 rupees per kg so it's it's also there a submission on nutri cereal is also running uh, since 2018 19 and 12 uh, 212 district india has more than 500 startups which are working in the field of millet by adding their value chain to so millets ke alag alag products ban rahe hain so sari cheeze ho rahi hain so lot of steps are being taken about millets in recent years तो मिलेट्स पे ना क्वेश्चन आ सकता है इसे हम वी विल स्टडी इट इन मोर डिटेल हम पूरा योजना भी कवर करेंगे दिस इज अबाउट मिलेट्स वी विल अंडरस्टैंड एवरी एस्पेक्ट अबाउट मिलेट्स हेयर व्हाट देयर वाज अ बॉक्स एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया के जो बॉक्सेस है ना वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होते हैं तो पास्ट में क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू दोस बॉक्सेस हैव बीन आस्क सो व्हेनेवर दीस बॉक्सेस कम आई जस्ट कॉपी पेस्ट द एंटायर थिंग आई हैव नॉट एडेड एनीथिंग न्यू हेयर आई हैव जस्ट कॉपीड दैट एंटायर बॉक्स मतलब स्क्रीनशॉट नहीं लिया है कॉपी पेस्ट किया है इसलिए द फॉर्मेट like this sometimes i just take the screenshot so you get to know ki this is the entire box that is taken from there then allied sector animal husbandry dairying and fishery catching uh, are catching up in recent years what are we trying to say here we are trying to say this look at this figure crops agri crops crops mein food grains bhi hain pulses bhi hai कोर्स ग्रेन्स भी हैं बाजरा मिलेट वीट राइस एवरीथिंग इज देयर इन द ओवरऑल एग्रीकल्चर जीवीए एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर जितना वैल्यू ऐड कर रहा है कंट्री में जितना अपने अपने जीडीपी में कंट्रीब्यूट कर रहा है 100 परसेंट एग्रीकल्चर का कंट्रीब्यूशन है तो उसमें क्रॉप्स का कंट्रीब्यूशन इन टू थाउजेंड यूज टू बी सिक्सटी इट इज नाउ कम डाउन टू फिफ्टी इट्स नॉट बिकॉज दी crops which are being produced have reduced in crops ka production has kept on increasing pulse production is increasing rice production is increasing wheat production is increasing we already saw that but still in the overall agriculture sector agriculture allied sector crops ka share has reduced dekho it has consistently reduced 65.4 64.5 64.4 62 60 why is it reducing because other things are doing other things are growing at much faster rate they are also growing please note food crops ka production to grow ho raha hai na so overall there is growth in them but uh, in if we if we consider the overall output of agriculture to be 100 usme the contribution of food crops or uh, contribution of crops are reducing livestock look at livestock this uh, this what do you darkest blue teen alag alag type ke blue hai black sorry the the black it's going up can you see it's going up so livestock ka contribution is going up livestock mein you will have meat production you will have uh, egg production you will have uh, milk production ye sab livestock ka contribution hai forestry and logging is also kind of thoda sa is going up fishing and aquaculture is going up jo ekdam dark blue hai light blue hai black hai to jo dark blue wali बात करें फिशिंग एंड एक्वाकल्चर इज ऑल्सो गोइंग अप तो दिस दिस इज वॉट वी आर ट्राइंग टू स्टेयर इफ यू कम हेयर 
अलाइड सेक्टर्स ऑफ इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर अलाइड सेक्टर्स में वन इज द क्रॉप्स वाला सेक्टर देन अलाइड सेक्टर में वी हैव लाइफ स्टॉक फॉरेस्ट्री लॉगिंग एंड फिशिंग एक्वाकल्चर दे आर ग्रेजुअली बिकमिंग सेक्टर्स ऑफ व्यू एंड ग्रोथ एंड अ पोटेंशियल सोर्स ऑफ बेटर फार्म इनकम ओके मैडमैन इज आस्किंग सर ब्रेक नहीं नहीं ब्रेक नहीं खत्म होने वाला है कोई ब्रेक नहीं हाँ खत्म होने वाला ज्यादा कुछ नहीं है आई विल फिनिश इट इन हाफ एन आवर लाइफ स्टॉक सेक्टर लेट्स लुक एट द कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ लाइफ स्टॉक सेक्टर लाइफ स्टॉक सेक्टर का सी कितना है ग्रोथ रेट कितना है सेवन पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट ओवरऑल एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर का ग्रोथ कितना है अराउंड फोर परसेंट तो लाइफ स्टॉक सेक्टर इज ग्रोइंग एट मच फास्टर रेट नाउ इट्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इन टोटल एग्रीकल्चर जी बी एग्रीकल्चर का टोटल जी बी उसमें कितना परसेंट इसका कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन है नाउ इट हैज बिकम थर्टी पॉइंट वन परसेंट इट यूज टू बी ट्वेंटी फोर परसेंट टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन नाउ इट्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज थर्टी परसेंट तो ऑफ द एंटायर एग्रीकल्चर एंड लाइट सेक्टर इसमें क्रॉप्स भी एंड फिशरी भी एंड लाइफ स्टॉक भी यू इंक्लूड एवरीथिंग इफ द टोटल प्रोडक्शन इज हंड्रेड उसमें से थर्टी प्रोडक्शन इज कमिंग फ्रॉम लाइफ स्टॉक सेक्टर तो लाइफ स्टॉक में क्या क्या होता है डेयरी सेक्टर इज द मोस्ट क्रिटिकल कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ द लाइफ स्टॉक सेक्टर वेर एट एट इज सपोर्टिंग अराउंड एट करोड़ फार्मर्स and is the most pro, uh, prominent agrarian product then other livestock products such as eggs and meats are also growing in importance while india ranks first in the milk production it also ranks third in the egg production eighth in the meat production in the world right livestock sector ka contribution overall agricultural production mein 30% contribution is that agriculture allied sector 30% contribution is that of livestock sector but abhi bhi crops ka contribution to is around 55% 30% परसेंट इज दैट ऑफ लाइफ स्टॉक फिफ्टी फाइव प्लस थर्टी एटी फाइव अभी बचता है क्या बचता है फिशरी एनुअल एवरेज ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ फिशरी सेक्टर हैज बिन सेवन परसेंट इट्स ऑल्सो ग्रोइंग एट फास्टर रेट दैन द ग्रोथ ऑफ ग्रेन सिंस टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन एंड हैज शेयर ऑफ अबाउट सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट इन टोटल एग्रीकल्चर जी बी ए तो फिशरी सेक्टर इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीजिंग इट्स शेयर Thus, allied sector is increasing their importance in the total agriculture GBA. This is what we were trying to. This is what Economic Survey of India is trying to say. See, uh, details we can study later. But this pattern is the latest data. This is something that we only study in Economic Survey of India. Economic Survey of India is thus crucial. The pattern. Today, there were two questions. You have seen. The two questions were capital expenditure. Wala. I I I had like, I had like made around 10 questions in this uh, test. मैं सारे questions नहीं बनाए थे मैंने कल 10 questions बनाए थे उसमें देर वॉज दिस क्वेश्चन ग्रोथ इंटरेस्ट डिफरेंशियल वाला हाँ वो नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव ग्रोथ इंटरेस्ट डिफरेंशियल देन देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन ऑन कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर वाला देर वॉज असरशन एंड रीजन वाला क्वेश्चन है ना कि कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर अच्छा रेवेन्यू एक्सपेंडिचर अच्छा होता है कैपिटल ऐसा एक असरशन रीजन वाला क्वेश्चन था तो देर वर सम क्वेश्चन विच आई हैड मेड तो वो पैटर्न वाले क्वेश्चन ने यूपीएससी हैज आस्ट इन द पास्ट अभी वेन विल डू आर टी एफ क्यू फॉर इकोनॉमी विल ऑल्सो डू ऑल द पास्ट ईयर क्वेश्चन उसमें विल सी अ नंबर ऑफ पैटर्न बेस्ड क्वेश्चन हैव बिन आस्ट इन द एग्जामिनेशन तो दीज थिंग्स हैव टू बी स्टडीड हेयर एक स्टेटमेंट आ सकता है एग्जाम में कि द Contribution of agriculture sector in India's GDP has increased over the last few years. Has contribution increased? Yes. Agriculture का हर साल output बढ़ रहा है ना? Yes. But percentage contribution agriculture sector का अदर 2020-21 छोड़ दिया जाए जहाँ पे rest of the economy went down and agriculture sector did well. परसेंटेज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन जनरल ट्रेंड इज डाउनवर्ड साइड में इंडिपेंडेंस के टाइम एग्रीकल्चर यूज टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट अ लॉट इन इंडिया इकोनॉमी नाउ इट्स रोल इज डिक्रीजिंग तो परसेंटेज वाइज इट्स रोल इज डिक्रीजिंग सिमिलरली समथिंग सिमिलर कैन बी आस्ट फॉर लाइफ स्टॉक सेक्टर फिशरी सेक्टर वी मस्ट बी इन अ पोजिशन टू आंसर दोज क्वेश्चन फाइन नाउ इनिशिएटिव फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ दिस अलाइड सेक्टर सो देर आर सम स्कीम्स जैसे एग्रीकल्चर का इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट वाला इनिशिएटिव हमने देखा था समथिंग सिमिलर इज फॉर एनिमल हजबेंड्री इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट फंड एनिमल हजबेंड्री एग्रीकल्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट फंड कितना कितना कितने रुपए का था एक वन लाख करोड़ का था द फंड 
This is of 15,000 crore rupees. It was launched during COVID-19. जब आत्मनिर्भर भारत अभियान 1.0 अनाउंस किया था, वहाँ पे. What is the purpose of this? Incentivize investment by individual. Uh, incentivize investment in agri. In, oh, sorry, animal husbandry infrastructure by these people. How? How? Uh, why? How would this incentivization occur? Uh, government is asking them take loans. We will provide you interest subvention. Loan आपको सस्ते रेट में दिलवाएंगे. And then there will be a two-year moratorium period. For two years, you do not have to start returning the money. Only you you take loan, you develop infrastructure, and you will start earning profit. Then you start returning the money for the principal loan amount and six years repayment period thereafter. Okay, so after that, you will have six years of repayment period. The interest subvention would be released to banks every year by government. Banks जो interest में discount देगा आप इन लोगों को, government will pay that discount amount to bank every year. The government would also set up credit guarantee fund of 750 crore rupees. Credit guarantee, loans are being given for animal husbandry infrastructure development. What if loan is not returned back? Jayesh kind of customer, right? Paise leke uda diye isne. Is baar daru pi ne me. They will not be able to return back the money. Credit guarantee would be given there. Credit guarantee would uh, cover the uh, those sanctioned projects which are covered under MSME defined ceilings. Guarantee coverage would be up to 25% of credit facility of the borrower to ease out the process. An online portal, agriculture, AHIDF, Uddem Mitra dot in has been developed by SIDBI. Fine. Ye chije, agriculture, sorry, agriculture, nahi, animal husbandry infrastructure development fund, animal husbandry infrastructure development fund, AHIDF. Okay. Then national livestock mission is there. National livestock mission is an old mission which is focused on intensive development of livestock. यहाँ पे नेशनल लाइफ स्टॉक मिशन वाज प्राइमरली फोकस्ड ऑन स्मॉल लाइफ स्टॉक भेड़ बकरी स्मॉल लाइफ स्टॉक इट्स फोकस्ड ऑन स्मॉल लाइफ स्टॉक नाउ स्मॉल लाइफ स्टॉक्स हैव लॉट ऑफ एडवांटेज ओवर दी बिगर लाइफ स्टॉक स्मॉल लाइफ स्टॉक्स का मेंटेनेंस इज वेरी इजी इफ यू हैव अ काउ द मनी दैट यू विल हैव टू स्पेंड ऑन मेंटेनिंग द काउ और मेंटेनिंग द बफलो और मेंटेनिंग अ बेल वुड बी मच हायर इफ यू हैव अ बकरी has has anyone has had a bakri at home bakra bakri at home nahi like gaon mein dada dadi ke paas nana nahi nahi kisi kisi ka nahi kuch logo ke paas hai aapke paas hai okay so uh, mere ko jab jaise main when i remember my childhood and i used to go to my nani's place in bihar to unke gaon mein unke ghar mein they used to have bakriyan and what they used to do use le ja ke uh, ghar ke piche ek badi si rassi leke bandh dete the and wo ghoom ke apne aap ghas kar rahe hain so, no tension in life उनके लिए कभी अलग से चारा डालने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ती थी मेंटेनिंग देम वाज वेरी इजी साइंटिफिक स्टडीज हैव आल्सो शोन कि ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ ड्रॉट ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ फेमिन्स इट्स इजी फॉर देम टू सरवाइव व्हेन कंपेयर टू बिगर लाइफ स्टॉक उनके मेंटेनेंस में कॉस्ट नहीं है उनको रखने के लिए स्पेशल जगह नहीं चाहिए घर के बाहर ही खूंटी में घर के पीछे खूंटी में बंधे रहते हैं वेयर इज दैट्स नॉट द केस विद काउ फॉर काउ यू विल नीड अ बिगर स्पेस फॉर बफलो यू विल नीड अ बिगर स्पेस Maintaining them is not expensive, right? They'll be able to survive in difficult circumstances. If they have to revive, suppose sab mar gaye, their revival would be much faster when compared to a buffalo or a cow, etc. Plus, their products are not associated with any taboo. Ab mutton khaoge koi nahi ladega aapse. Ab gaye bhai iska meat khare ho, there would be taboo associated with. These are there are these advantages of of what small ruminant sector or small livestock sector and intensive development of livestock national livestock mission का जो target था it was focused on other aspects also but it was focused on this small livestock और small livestock के there are other advantages also it is generally there with a small and marginal farmers big landholders and all उनके पास रहेंगे but उनके income में the contribution of this is very less the poorer people would have more of these livestock and therefore national livestock mission was focused on protecting these did we understand this then recently what has happened why why economic survey of india especially discussing it the scheme has been restructured for this period 2021 22 2025 26 it focuses on entrepreneurship development breed improvement in poultry sheep goat and piggery including feed and fodder development ye aap dekh rahe hain sab small लाइफ स्टॉक की बात कर रहे हैं है ना तो इन स्मॉल लाइफ स्टॉक दीज आर द प्रॉब्लम 
जैसे आप रूमिनेंट सेक्टर में जाएंगे ना रूमिनेंट सेक्टर में यू वुड सी काउ ब्रीड इंप्रूवमेंट में बहुत बात हो रही है हाइब्रिड काउस गिव मोर मिल्क वेर आर हाइब्रिड गोट्स देर नॉट देयर वे आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट देम दिस फीड इज गुड फॉर काउस वॉट अबाउट गोट्स और पिग्स और उन पर फोकस नहीं हो रहा है तो नेशनल लाइफ स्टॉक मिशन का जो रिवैम्प पार्ट है इट इज फोकस्ड ऑन ऑन्टरप्रनोरशिप डेवलपमेंट एज वेल एज ब्रीड इंप्रूवमेंट इन दीज स्मॉल लाइफ स्टॉक डू वी अंडरस्टैंड इट ओके नाउ लेट्स गो टू लाइफ स्टॉक हेल्थ एंड डिजीज कंट्रोल स्कीम लाइफ स्टॉक हेल्थ एंड डिजीज कंट्रोल स्कीम तो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट टेक वेरियस इनिशियटिव टू प्रोटेक्ट लाइफ स्टॉक टू फाइट वेरियस डिजीज लाइफ स्टॉक फेस ये जो स्कीम है इट इज हेल्पिंग स्टेट गवर्नमेंट इट इज सप्लीमेंटिंग स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एफर्ट्स तो इट इज बींग इम्प्लीमेंटेड टू सप्लीमेंट द स्टेट यूटी गवर्नमेंट एफर्ट्स टू वर्ड्स प्रिवेंटिंग कंट्रोलिंग एंड कंटेनिंग एनिमल डिजीज ऑफ इकोनॉमिक एंड जूनोटिक इंपॉर्टेंस बाई वैक्सीन दीज आर द डिजीज विच आर बींग कवर्ड अंडर दिस इनिशियटिव देन वी हैव नेशनल एनिमल डिजीज कंट्रोल प्रोग्राम इट वॉज लॉन्च इन सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन एंड इज फोकसड ऑन वैक्सीनेटिंग फाइव हंड्रेड मिलियन लाइफ स्टॉक इंक्लूडिंग कैटल बफलो शीप गोट एक्सेट्रा अगेंस्ट एफ एम डी फूट एंड माउथ डिजीज देन वी हैव प्रधानमंत्री मत्स्य संपदा योजना मत्स्य इज फिश प्रधानमंत्री मत्स्य संपदा योजना इट्स अ फ्लैगशिप स्कीम फोकस्ड ऑन सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ फिशरी सेक्टर इन इंडिया देर आर टू ब्रॉड सॉरी देर आर टू की कॉम्पोनेट उस पर आते हैं बट बिफोर दैट वॉट इज द टारगेट टारगेट इज दैट फिशरी प्रोडक्शन इन इंडिया should increase it should go to 220 lakh metric tons by 2024-25 uh, at an average growth rate of 9% this result will also lead to doubling export earning to rupees 1 lakh crore so when the scheme was launched in uh, i think 2018 19 mein launch hua tha so uh, the income from uh, fishery export was around 40 50000 crore rupees it can go up to 1 lakh crore rupees if we reach 220 lakh metric tons ka production by 2024-25 and pradhan mantri matsya sampada yojana is focused on that fine uh, sir lumpy skin dekho lumpy skin disease has been in news recently so these schemes when they were launched they were not covering those okay break nahi hai baith jao bahut zor se aa rahi hai pani baitho aise behave kar raha hai jaise pata nahi kya drought prone area se char din se pani nahi mila hai तो पानी पीने के लिए उठ के जा रहे हो क्लास से पहले क्यों नहीं पिया अब तुम बैठे बैठे पी भी लिए हो एक लीटर पानी पिछले दो घंटे में फिर भी जाना है फिर भी रुक जाओ यू अंडरस्टैंड प्रधानमंत्री मत्स्य संपदा योजना नाउ एम्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव तो ये एम्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव में जनरल चीजों की बात कर रहे हैं लेट्स कम टू द टू मेन कॉम्पोनेंट 20000 crore rupees have been allocated for this program in 5 years this is center state and beneficiaries all are contributing center would be contributing something state would be contributing something and beneficiaries who will be benefiting from this program would be contributing something there are two components here under this scheme of the 20000 crore rupees 11000 crore will be spent on activities in marine inland fisheries and aquaculture and rupees 9000 crore will be spent on infrastructure please note kuch cheeze हम इनका प्रोडक्शन बढ़ाने के लिए और कुछ चीजें इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट कर रहे हैं देर आर दीज टू कॉम्पोनेंट तो मत्स्य संपदा योजना में वी आर इंक्रीजिंग द प्रोडक्शन प्लस वी आर डेवलपिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फॉर प्रोसेसिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फॉर स्टोरेज एंड ऑल दो स्टफ सच एस फिशिंग हार्बर कोल्ड चेन मार्केट एक्सेट्रा इट सीक्स टू एड्रेस द क्रिटिकल गैप इन फिश प्रोडक्शन एंड प्रोडक्टिविटी क्वालिटी टेक्नोलॉजी पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर तो फिश प्रोडक्शन भी बढ़ा रहा है और पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट या फिर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर भी उस पर भी फोकस है इट विल बी इंप्लीमेंटेड ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ फाइव ईयर फ्रॉम एफ वाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन टू एफ वाई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव इन दिस पीरियड इट वॉन्ट्स टू टेक द प्रोडक्शन टू अराउंड प्रोडक्शन सच दैट आर एक्सपोर्ट गोज टू वन लैख क्रोर रुपीज देन फिशरी एंड एक्वाकल्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट फंड दिस फिशरी एंड एक्वाकल्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट फंड was launched before pradhan mantri matsya sampada yojana and it was focused specifically on infrastructure development ab dekhenge uh, iska jo period tha it was for 5 years 2018 19 to 2020 to 23 so with this uh, in march this would get over and under it under fishery infrastructure development fund as of 17th october 
proposals to the tune of 4923 crore have been approved and have benefited around 9 9.4 lakh people okay so these were various initiatives which were there in economic survey of india from animal husbandry livestock sector or allied sector okay sahakar se samriddhi na ye directly agriculture wala nahi hai इसे प्लीज एक बार पढ़ लीजिएगा इट्स नॉट डायरेक्टली एग्रीकल्चर इट्स अबाउट कॉपरेटिव सोसाइटीज एंड हाउ दे आर प्लेइंग अ रोल इसमें कुछ वैसा समझाने एग्रीकल्चर से रिलेटेड समझाने का नहीं है आई स्किप इट फॉर नाउ इसका बढ़ा दे फूड प्रोसेसिंग सेक्टर द लास्ट लास्ट टॉपिक आई गेस नहीं ज्यादा बड़ा नहीं है डोंट वरी डोंट वरी इन 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 इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया वेरी लेस ऑफ दिस इज गिवन बट हम कंप्लीटिंग इट थरली सो दैट व्हेन वील कवर करंट अफेयर्स फिर दोबारा से एक ना करना पड़े अभी फूड प्रोसेसिंग थोड़ा सा कर दिया फिर वहां पे भी कर दिया तो है ना दैट्स वाई ब्रेक नहीं ब्रेक नहीं मैं फटाफट खत्म कर दूंगा आई एल जस्ट गिव यू एन ओवर आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू गेट इन ईच एंड एवरी इन डिटेल्स आई एल गिव यू एन ओवर आप खुद से पढ़ लीजिएगा है ना ब्रेक देंगे तो यू टेक फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स का ब्रेक फिर यू विल कम बैक एंड I will also be fresh. I will want to teach each and every point. So decide, कर लो. हाँ. तो break देना. Yes. दो बजे से बैठे हो यहाँ पे. थके नहीं हो? चलिए. Ah, uh, food processing industry. Let's let's understand food processing industry. देखो. Ah, uh, food processing industry का ना ऐसे background समझो पहले कि when you have tomatoes tomatoes are available at very low prices recent years mein mehenge ho gaye please do not get into that but if you make ketchup out of it tomato ketchup it's much more expensive you have kachcha aam kachcha aam is uh, raw mango when you make pickle out of it it's much more expensive you have potato when you make potato wafers out of it वो लेस देख रहे हो 20-30 ग्राम थोड़ा सा मिलता है 40 रुपए में प्रोसेस्ड दिस इज नॉट द ओनली काइंड ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग प्रोसेसिंग कैन आल्सो बी वीट को जब आप आटे में बदल रहे हो दैट इज आल्सो प्रोसेसिंग यू आर मेकिंग इट तो फूड प्रोसेसिंग विल इन्वॉल्व प्रोसेसिंग अ फूड आइटम सच दैट इट बिकम्स कंज्यूमेबल जैसे वीट को आप आटे में कन्वर्ट किया its shelf life increases its taste increases its exportability increases so processing can be done for many different reasons now processing has a lot of advantage ye sare advantage consumable ban jayegi cheez uska export ho jayega uska taste badh jayega uska value badh jayega and if we want to increase farmers income just by increasing agriculture production we won't be able to do that kitna agriculture production badha a small and marginal farmer who is earning 50000 rupees per year today if you will double this farmer's production the, the the income may become 1 lakh rupees but it's not going to be a huge difference yes in that farmer's life the difference may appear to be huge but that's not the solution long term solution here food processing industries could play a very important role why food processing industries can give them better prices plus in rural areas because Uh, it would be a agri dependent uh, industry so many of these industries could be set up in rural india and more industrialization of rural india can also take okay so food processing industry is one of the topic that is given in your main syllabus that is given in your main syllabus and therefore every year or every alternate year a question food processing industry pe aa hi jata तो एट द टाइम ऑफ मेंस हम ये भी देखेंगे मेंस रिलेटेड टॉपिक्स सप्लाई चेन में क्या प्रॉब्लम्स एंड ऑल हेयर लेट्स क्विकली डू व्हाट इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया हैज डन इट हैज टॉक्ड अबाउट वेरियस स्कीम्स प्रोग्राम्स रिलेटेड टू फूड प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्री डू वी अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई वी नीड टू प्रमोट फूड प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्री फार्मर्स इनकम अच्छा करने के लिए इंडिया में एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटी दूसरे सेक्टर्स में लाने के लिए रूरल अर्बन डिवाइड को कम करने के लिए फूड प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्रीज कुड बी क्रूशियल एंड फूड प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्री because we are wasting so much food food processing industry is beneficial there why are we wasting food agar tomato tomato ko humne tomato ketchup mein badal diya hota kya wo tomato sadta 
tomato ketchup we, we consume it for much longer duration right and we consume it regularly you know? generally whenever we are eating anything outside it may be a momo or let's say pizza or pizza pe kuch nahi khata main pizza ke sath koi baat nahi karta burger samosa samosa ke sath chutney khate bhai ketchup hai sandwiches tomato ketchup is being used so idea is please understand the idea it consumption would happen its demand is going up processed food demand is going up now processed food mein aur bhi dimension samjho jo jo waise wale food aate hain jisme bas garam pani dal ke ban jayega rajma chawal aata hai moms rajma chawal hai na i tried it once it was very bad na not of, i do not know the brand that i had used but i thought ki yaar ye banate hain hai na rajma chawal ekdam ghar ki yaad aa jaye unhone bola tha lo aur boil kar do ban jayega सब कुछ उसमें से पहले उसमें पहले से ही है मैंने लिया और बॉईल कर दिया और जो कचरा भरा था मतलब मैं बाहर निकल के ना कुछ वो मैगी वैगी खरीद के लाके भाई मैगी बनानी आती है वो खाएंगे बट स्टिल मेरे को पसंद नहीं आया प्रोसेस फूड इन फ्यूचर मे बिकम वेरी वेरी आजकल रोटियां भी आती है प्रोसेस फॉर्म में आपको पता है बस गर्म करना है एंड यूल हैव रोटी तो अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ प्रोसेस फॉर अ पर्सन लाइक मी जो फटाफट खाना बना लेना चाहता है कि बस जल्दी से मिल जाए नाउ फॉर अ पर्सन लाइक मी इंडिया में कुक्स एंड क्लीनर्स आर अवेलेबल एट चीप प्राइजेस बट नाउ थिंक ऑफ द एक्सपोर्ट पोटेंशियल मेरा जो काउंटर पार्ट यूएस में है ना मेरे जो दोस्त यूएस में है और जो uh, मेरी तरह लफाडे सिंगल है उन लोगों को खाना वाना बनाने की बड़ी टेंशन रहती है आई डो नॉट हैव दैट टेंशन आई डो नॉट हैव टू वॉश माई यूटेंसिल्स I do not have to wash my clothes. Those poor people have to. Do do they earn a lot? Unke ha maid aur ye sab bhi bahut high five charge karte hain. Twelve dollars per hour. So the boy twelve dollar per hour legi. That that's the kind of rate that they charge ten dollars per hour, twelve, eight hundred rupees per hour. And that is the right price for unke liye. Wo India se gaye na. One hour ke eight hundred rupees thi na. They are like, I will do it myself. Processed food. How crucial that it can be for them. So. फ्यूचर में पोटेंशियल ऑफ फूड प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्री इज गोइंग टू गो अप मोर अर्बनाइजेशन मोर सिंगल फैमिलीज मोर बिजी वर्क शेड्यूल पीपल वुड डिपेंड ऑन प्रोसेस्ड फूड मोर एंड मोर एंड दस इंडिया इज टेकिंग अ नंबर ऑफ इनिशिएटिव नॉट ओनली बिकॉज इट विल इंक्रीज फार्मर्स इनकम एवरीथिंग ऑल्सो बिकॉज इट हैज ह्यूज पोटेंशियल इन फ्यूचर बहुत सारे लोग एग्रीकल्चर पे डिपेंडेंट है ना बिकॉज एग्रीकल्चर पे बहुत सारे लोग डिपेंडेंट है उन्हें प्रोसेस फूड प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्री में शिफ्ट करना would be easier and that's why it is also being considered a sunrise sector of futuristic sector which will contribute to india's economic growth and development so a number of initiatives are there one is jaise pehle we are talking about infrastructure improvement so pradhan mantri kisan sampada yojana abhi humne matsya sampada yojana dekha tha usme we talked about infrastructure improvement so i'll, I'll not go into the details of the scheme mai aapko roughly batata hu to kisan sampada yojana a uh, scheme for agro marine processing and development of एग्रो प्रोसेसिंग क्लस्टर्स तो जो ओल्डर स्कीम्स थे इट हैज इनकॉर्पोरेटेड अदर स्कीम्स रिलेटेड टू फूड प्रोसेसिंग इंक्लूडिंग मेगा फूड पार्क इंटीग्रेटेड कोल्ड चेन तो इन सबको थोड़ा थोड़ा डिटेल में पढ़ लेते लेट्स फर्स्ट टॉक अबाउट मेगा फूड पार्क स्कीम मेगा फूड पार्क को ना हमने नीचे बहुत डिटेल में समझा लेट्स फर्स्ट गो देयर लेट्स गो टू द डिटेल्स ऑफ मेगा फूड पार्क दिस इमेज थ्रू दिस इमेज यूल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एवरीथिंग तो वॉट इज द आइडिया ऑफ मेगा फूड पार्क मेगा फूड पार्क में हम थ्रू आउट द कंट्री वी आर सेटिंग अप नंबर ऑफ दीज फूड पार्क वेर अ लॉट ऑफ फूड प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्रीज वुड बी देयर तो जैसे आईटी पार्क होता है ना सी व्हेन आईटी पार्क इज देयर लेट्स से टुमारो अच्छा हैदराबाद में वी ऑलरेडी हैव एन आईटी पार्क थिंक ऑफ अ अपकमिंग सिटी लेट्स से रायपुर 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 इज अ सिटी ना रायपुर छत्तीसगढ़ का छत्तीसगढ़ का कैपिटल है दे सेट अप अ आईटी पार्क देयर वेयर दे विल अट्रैक्ट आईटी इंडस्ट्री तो दे हैव टू प्रोवाइड द बेसिक फैसिलिटीज लाइक अच्छा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर होना चाहिए इंटरनेट कनेक्टिविटी के लिए फैसिलिटीज होनी चाहिए ओनली देन आईटी आई टी कंपनीज वुड कम कम अप एंड सेट कंपनीज देयर तो मेगा फूड पार्क का आइडिया भी वैसा है यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट पार्क वेयर दिस फूड प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्रीज वुड कम बट यू प्रोवाइड दम कॉमन फैसिलिटीज है ना तो थ्रू आउट द कंट्री 
under this mega food park initiative government is setting up mega food park central government is providing support for setting up the, of this mega food park which is based on this hub and spoke model so ab jo ye mega food park hoga it through this hub and scope model will be connected to uh, raw material individual farmers unke unka material collection center pe aayega primary processing hogi mega food park pe aayega self help groups ke through it can come here farmer groups ke through it can come here and then it also has to be connected to exporters importers domestic market and everything fresh product domestic retail sales ke liye ja paaye this has to be created so because food processing industry is crucial through mega food park initiative we want to develop this sector the way we have in past been able to develop it parks jaise ideas okay so what is done uh, this scheme is known as a component of pradhan mantri known as the component of pradhan mantri krishi sampada yojana it focuses on establishing mega food clusters for creating major infrastructure facilities in india to add value and reduce wastage at each stage of the supply chain it provides an assistance of 50% of the project cost subject to a maximum limit of 50 crores so mega food park scheme ke andar kya hoga when an entity when let's say a state government wants to set up or an entity entity wants to create mega food park government will say i will give you 50% of the cost other excluding the land cost land hona chahiye uske baad aap jo basic infrastructure develop kar rahe ho uska 50% of the cost i will provide you up to 50 crore rupees now to develop infrastructure if you are spending 2000 crore rupees then i'll not provide 1000 crore rupees my share would only be up to 50 crore rupees so through this government is in incentivizing what setting up of these mega food park the park is developed on hub and spoke model i have already explained you the hub and spoke model ka idea let's go back let's go back to in we were, we were talking about infrastructure development so uh, kisan sampada yojana usme mega food park we have understood then there are other initiative like modernization of abattoir scheme about uh, abattoirs is, is it the correct pronunciation ki kya hote hain pata hai aapko जहा पे एनिमल्स को मारा जाता है मीट प्रोडक्शन के लिए स्किन प्रोडक्शन के लिए इसने अभी से नाक पे वो रख लिया होल्ड है पक्का तो बुचर स्लॉटर हाउस उनका क्या मॉडर्नाइजेशन एनहांसिंग प्रोसेसिंग एंड प्रिजर्वेशन कैपेसिटी टू इंप्रूव द क्वालिटी एंड रिड्यूस द वेस्टेज इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंप्रूवमेंट production linked incentive scheme for food processing sector has been launched recently do we understand production linked incentive scheme so aapka jitna bhi production capability hai aap usse badhana chahte hain government will come and support you so let's study this also in detail it has been launched recently and there are three components three different kind of incentives uh, which are being provided so ye bhi hum detail mein padhte hain let's come here mega food park ke baad production linked incentive scheme for food processing industry so here you would see that uh, it has been formulated based on pli scheme of niti aayog under atmanirbhar bharat initiative uh, for this period 2021 22 2026 27 crore rupees have been allocated for the sector here and and what is being done three different kind of supports would be provided here. कैटेगरी वन कैटेगरी टू एंड कैटेगरी थ्री कैटेगरी वन में द एप्लीकेंट्स आर लार्ज एंटिटीज हुआ अप्लाइंग फॉर इंसेंटिव बेस्ड ऑन सेल्स एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट क्राइटेरिया सेल्स एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट क्राइटेरिया तो हेयर एप्लीकेंट अंडर दिस कैटेगरी वुड अंडरटेक ब्रांडिंग एंड मार्केटिंग एक्टिविटीज अब्रॉड ऑल्सो एंड एंड अप्लाई फॉर ग्रांट अंडर द स्कीम विद अ कॉमन एप्लीकेशन तो इन कैटेगरी वन you will you may increase your sale you may increase your investment and you may go for branding and marketing activities outside country for that incentives is being incentive is being provided by this incentive scheme then in category 2 there would be small and marginal uh, uh, medium enterprises here they will be manufacturing innovative or organic products to apply for pli incentive only based on sales yahan pe it was based on sales based on marketing based on ma Uh, marketing outside the country branding outside the country uh, sales investment branding outside the country here it's only on the basis of sale and then category 3 may applicants applying solely for grant for undertaking branding and marketing activities 
यहाँ पे ओनली कैटेगरी थ्री में इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ब्रांड एंड मार्केट योर प्रोडक्ट अब्रॉड उसके लिए यू मे नीड मनी यहाँ पे सपोर्ट थ्रू दिस स्कीम कैन बी प्रोवाइडेड इन कैटेगरी डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस है ना बाकी प्रोडक्शन लिंक इंसेंटिव स्कीम यू ऑलरेडी हैव क्लैरिटी अबाउट दैट ओके लेट्स गो बैक हाँ प्रोडक्शन लिंग इंसेंटिव हैव अंडरस्टूड इट इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर अंडर मेक इन इंडिया इनिशिएटिव तो अब मेक इन इंडिया पे बहुत बात नहीं होती बट आत्मनिर्भर भारत का एक इंपॉर्टेंट कंपोनेंट होना चाहिए मेक इन इंडिया तो इट्स वन ऑफ द प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर देयर देन टू एंश्योर दैट क्रेडिट इज अवेलेबल टू देम लोन्स एक्सेट्रा आर अवेलेबल टू फूड प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्री गवर्नमेंट हैज सेटअप अ स्पेशल फंड ऑफ रुपीज टू थाउजेंड क्रोर अंडर नबार्ड फॉर देम देन फूड एंड एग्रो प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट एंड कोल्ड चेन इंफ्रा हैव ऑल्सो बिन ब्रॉट अंडर priority sector lending so banks banks when are giving loan to these sectors unka psl pending mein wo psl lending mein wo contribute kar raha hai then subsidize credits through pm sme so pm sme pradhan mantri formalization of micro food processing industry mein unhe easy loans diye ja rahe so what is this pm sme let's understand it is a credit linked subsidy initiative credit linked subsidy when you are taking loan from bank wahan pe on your loan subsidy would be provided by वॉट काइंड ऑफ यहाँ पे और भी डिटेल्स दिए हैं पी एम एफ एम ई ऑल्सो वी एव डिस्कस इन डिटेल नीचे आप एक बार पढ़ेंगे दैट विल गिव यू एन आइडिया कि हाउ वेरियस बेनिफिट्स थर्टी परसेंट फोर्टी परसेंट डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स डिफरेंट सेक्शन में डिफरेंट बेनिफिट्स आर अवेलेबल ओके नाउ लेट्स गो टू देर आर अदर स्टेप्स विच हैव बिन टेकन रिसेंट ईयर्स हंड्रेड परसेंट एफ डी आई इज परमिटेड अंडर ऑटोमेटिक रूल फॉर फूड प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्री फॉर ई कॉमर्स इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ फूड प्रोडक्ट्स मैनुफैक्चरस एंड और प्रोड्यूस मैनुफैक्चर एंड और प्रोड्यूस इन इंडिया हंड्रेड परसेंट एफ डी आई थ्रू अप्रूवल रूट इज अलाउड Uh, Ministry of Food Processing Industry, Government of India have signed MOU with a number of countries for promotion of investment in food processing sector. So a lot of these steps are also being taken to promote food processing industry. Okay, so this was this was these were the major agriculture related topics. But I as I told you, in current affairs program, current affairs program, so in current affairs we first wanted to complete uh, economic survey of India and budget because this would be the most important thing. है ना एज आई टोल्ड यू देखो देर वुड बी ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन इन इकोनॉमी फिफ्टीन ऑफ इट वुड बी फ्रॉम बेसिक आपने आज के टेस्ट में भी देखा वी ट्राई टू पुट इन मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दी बेसिक पांच क्वेश्चन होंगे जो आजकल के इश्यूज पे होंगे उसमें भी डब्ल्यू टी ओ आई एम एफ वी विल स्टडी इन डिटेल इन इंटरनेशनल बॉडीज उन पांच में से थ्री फोर क्वेश्चन वुड बी फ्रॉम बजट और इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया वाले टॉपिक जो विच आर मैं ओनली वन और टू क्वेश्चन वुड बी फ्रॉम रेस्ट ऑफ द करेंट अफेयर तो अगर छूटता भी है ना That is fine. Unnecessarily faultu ki chize nahi padni hai. Most of the time, what is happening? Current affairs notes mein na, wo students ka ek group banate hai, unse notes banwate hai, compile karwate hai aur aapko batwate rehte hai. Even teachers who are analyzing the paper are not making those notes, and thus they end up putting random stuff. This pe exam mein aane ke scope hai hi nahi. Arey bhai, analyze what has what has been asked in the exam, and you will. Unnecessarily study those things. Please do not do that. Random test papers भी होते हैं उसमें भी वो उन फालतू टॉपिक्स से सवाल पूछ रहे होंगे और आप घबरा के वो फालतू टॉपिक्स पढ़ रहे होंगे Analyze past year questions. इसीलिए let RTFQ happen before you start doing anything. Because in RTFQ we will cover all the past year questions as well, topic wise. So you will see that banking में क्या सवाल आ रहे हैं Banking में basic basic सवाल आ रहे हैं Basic 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 and that is why that is why our primary focus in in current affairs our primary focus is on economic survey of india and budget theek hai now let let me talk about future plan ki abhi kya karna hai hame uh, ab ap, apni apni jo classes hongi thursday friday saturday sunday hongi ab teen nahi char classes hongi environment tak agar environment hum march 15 ko khatam kar denge jo hum kar denge so we'll shift back to three classes a week but for now officially we will have four classes a week फोर क्लासेस हैव नाउ बिकम माय राइट उससे ज्यादा लेना अगर सिलेबस पीछे चल रहा होगा तो मेरी ड्यूटी होगी बट फोर क्लासेस आर माय राइट ठीक है फाइव टू नाइन हम करेंगे उसमें जो फर्स्ट हाफ होगा उसमें वी विल स्टार्ट आरटीएफक्यू ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक उसमें वी विल स्टार्ट आरटीएफक्यू ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक इन द सेकंड हाफ आइदर साइंस एंड टेक का जो पेंडिंग पोर्शन है या इकोनॉमी का जो अभी इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया वाले टॉपिक्स भी हैं वो चल रहे हैं वी वुड डू दैट अनदर
फॉर पी एम स्टूडेंट्स हुआ पार्ट ऑफ फिल्म मास्टर्स प्रोग्राम जिसमें हम बेसिक्स टॉपिक कवर कर रहे हैं वहाँ पे एक एक्सटर्नल सेक्टर वाला टॉपिक बाकी है बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट एंड ऑल दैट आई विल बी टेकिंग समवेयर ऑन दिस ट्यूजडे या वेंसडे है ना अगर आप में से भी किसी को पढ़ना हो आ जाना नाउ वी हैव दिस बिगर क्लास रूम अवेलेबल एंथ्रोपोलॉजी का शाम वाला बैच खत्म हो गया है तो वी हैव दिस बिगर क्लास रूम पहले आई कुड आई इनिशियली आई अनाउंस इट बट देन आई हैड टू आस्क यू नॉट टू कम इन दैट क्लास बिकॉज देर वॉज अ फेस क्रंस का अवेलेबिलिटी तो ऑन ट्यूजडे आई मे बी डिस्कसिंग द बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट वाला चैप्टर बेसिक्स वाला पूरा और वेंसडे को मैं उसका इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया वाला टॉपिक डिस्कस ठीक है वो तो लाइव होगा ही वो तो आप कर ही सकते हैं थर्सडे से हम आर टी एफ क्यू साइंस का शुरू कर रहे हैं इन द सेकेंड हाफ साइंस के ही कुछ अपडेट्स जो बचे हैं वो करते रहेंगे और इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया या बजट में से जो पेंडिंग है वो करते फाइन डू वी हैव क्लैरिटी नाउ अब ग्रुप पे नहीं पूछे ना कोई आर टी एफ क्यू कब चालू हो रहा है रोज 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 पूछते रहते हो मैं रोज रोज बताता रहता हूँ तब भी मैं बता दूंगा ठीक है चलिए तो आई सी यू ऑन देन जब भी नेक्स्ट क्लास होगी थर्सडे को तो मिलते ही हैं पर उससे पहले भी आई एम प्लानिंग टू टेक टू क्लासेस जो इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया वाले टॉपिक्स को प्राइमरली खत्म करने के लिए तो लेट्स सी यू देयर देन ओके थैंक यू